All right, very good there. Otherwise, time appropriate greetings to you folks. Welcome to Speed Gaming 3. Uh, this time, we're not bringing you a uh, weekly race despite this being the usual time. Today, we bring you our third race so far in the group stages of the Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2 2023 Cross Game Cup. So folks, uh, we're in for a good one today. We've got the Fail Guys versus the Ultimate Hope. And that is going to be, let me make sure I don't get my team names butchered here. That's going to be Lenefis and Metroid MST of Fail Guys versus Schwartz Gandhi and Samuel 6710 of the Ultimate Hope. I am Captain MD, and today I'm joined by Marion Law. How you doing today? Oh, I can complain, but no one will listen to me anyway, Captain. But you know the good thing here, we've got our tournament rocking and rolling, and we've got one heck of a match ready to, ready to be seen for day, th for day three. Indeed, yeah, there's quite a lot that's been going on the last couple of uh, days. We've had some great matches already. Um, so we're still kind of getting into uh, the swing of things, but uh, what can our, for those that are relatively new to the cross game multi-world setting, what are our runners looking to do to, uh, to do this afternoon? Well, our runners today, Captain, we're currently current. Bleh, I can't talk today. I need another drink. <laughs> It's okay, We're I haven't started mine yet. to see who's going to be the first team to complete both games. Both Prime and Echoes have to be completed on one side of the team for it to be ruled as a victory. How are we? With Samuel's knowledge of out-of-bounds movement, Gon Swartz's knowledge of basic and advanced movement, uh, we're bound to see a whole lot of out-of-bounds shenanigans, especially for a race. Indeed. And all, all four of our runners uh, here today are definitely returning... Uh, returning players so they definitely have been around in the scene for some time so i suspect we're going to have a great match uh but indeed we have seen especially on the weekly sam and schwartz have very much been uh, masters of their craft so it's going to be an interesting uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, run for fail guys here and we'll see how uh see how the seed plays out any particular uh seed hopes for today oh that's a tough one if it's anything like day one and day two I wouldn't mind having a uh, having some lower Torvus nonsense or some Inghive shenanigans on the Echo side. As far as Prime goes, I'm always a fan for some Fendrana Drift movement, especially in labs. It's long, it's painful to navigate, and it's great to watch. Indeed, and looks like we're starting with absolutely no help from Umos with just a red key of some kind. That'll be our egg on key. And our first hint reads today that Morph Ball is in Temple Grounds. So Echoes has both has our Prime One Morph Ball today, which if it's Temple Grounds, it's probably sometime within the next couple of minutes. Looks like we had a little bit of SJF shenanigans here. It looks like uh, uh, looks like it's going to be uh, Metroid MST uh, slash Shy Guy who's going to be our first over to uh, Alco for a vanilla space jump. Uh, you don't see that too often, but that is extremely extremely useful for early game move. Oh wait. Oh wait, never mind. I think Sam just went to save the ship. I keep forgetting they both have uh everyone's got their auto trackers up, so we know right away who's got what. Is this even randomized? Well, pa who knows. Apparently not at least on the prime side. No, well, but we are moving straight to Artifact Temple with Ultimate Hope and Fall Guys following shortly thereafter with an Artifact on Artifact Temple. Uh, Captain, are you sure you randomized this? Uh, well, this isn't me for a change. Oh, well, that's a first. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. But, um, well, to be fair, usually uh, I have not been in charge for making some of the CGC, uh, for making most of the CGC affairs. So, if anything, you could blame me for calling Progression an Underground Tunnel later. Let, let's let's leave it at that. Well, we do blame you for that all the time, but I appreciate <laughs> you giving us the consent to do that this time. But I do all see right. some comments being made about having an auto tracker instead of having a uh, physical tracker. What's the uh, what can we expect with this auto tracker, Captain? Well, the tracker will be updating in real time based on the uh, items our runners are getting. For example, uh, it's a little tough for us to see on. Um, on our end, but for you folks, you should be able to see the artifacts and keys, especially that our runners already have, including the, uh, which actually helps for the Echoes players uh, for our preset, the Violet Translator that uh, they start with. We also start out with missiles for both sides immediately. We decided to, uh, we had a vote to start that with that right away because it, the main thing it does is it reduces the amount of BK for Prime at the start, especially by just a smidge. 
Although it does look like ultimate hope with Sam's side finding our first nothing item. Yes, and uh, Sam going straight for a uh, Morph ball Arbor Chamber out of bounds. Very interesting and gutsy play, but it looks like he's decided to abort that. Wasn't too, wasn't too happy with that. Although we did find our... We do have energy tanks, Prime and Echoes over on Fall Guys. Echoes energy tank being off of... Uh, off of our Dark Alpha Splinter with the Prime being just off of Temple Assembly Site. Always good to have more energy. All right, and it looks like Lenefis wanted to do Task Jump for the item there, but uh, was having a little bit of trouble, so decided to abandon it. So definitely seeing a uh, idea of trying to avoid accidentally burning too much time, uh, essentially don't run into a sunk cost fallacy issue. That's fair. With Task Jump being such a precise, precise slope jump, it, it can take some time if you get a bad angle. All right, so it looks like one of the artifacts can be found in um, a cursed oh. lake. Oh, hold on, that's a good that's a good one to find. We just found uh, Phazon suit over on Sam's side, top of Arbor Chamber. Uh, in Arbor Chamber? Uh, what, what what's that? Was that uh, uh, was it in the plasma locked room? Yeah. It Sorry, was. I looked away. Okay, so right behind the plasma door. That is really good to know. That's there now. Um, because that's something that we could potentially be looking all day for, because there's only literally one place phase on suit can't be between both games. <laughs> well, we did just find some useful information over on uh, Schwartz's side. Uh, we're finding out our Curse Lake does have a key of some sort. It could be useful. It could be a uh, could be a dead key. We're yeah, that is the <laughs> that is the prime one artifact that we uh j that uh we've just brought up. Uh wave beam can be found exactly two rooms away from the morph ball according to that hint on the Aegon elevator. So we know the morph ball's in in uh temple ground somewhere. Which is interesting. So runners are still going for the Aegon play anyway. With with uh the current Echoes equipment, we've actually seen no major items, although it looks like Schwartz picked up a power bomb tank. I would assume that was in Temple Assembly site. I'm gonna counter our chat. We did find main power bombs for Echoes just off the Sam's side out of, uh, oh God, I'm terrible with prime room names. But no, Echoes does have main power bombs, so Aegon does make perfect sense. Oh, no, it must have been, oh, they were in uh, main plaza. Uh, my Thank apologies. <laughs> Aegon play I like right now. Only reason, well, aside from space jumps, we have our power bombs to break open frames of tunnel. Well, uh, looks like Mining Station Access did, in fact, have a space jump uh, for Echoes. So both runners, both sides already getting space jump very early here. Uh, can we take a peek at what's behind Mining Plaza? Uh, no, not at this, not at this stream quality, unfortunately. Yeah, well, at least we're here for, at least we can see it later, though. All right, now it looks like uh, we also saw an unlimited beam ammo in Ruined Shrine. Samuel sent that over to Schwartz Gandhi. The multiplayer pickups are enabled by default this time around. They will not, uh, unless RAs uh, request them to be removed, we'll, we should be seeing them uh, virtually every match. Ooh, and we got a grapple beam in Dynamo Chamber, courtesy of those perfectly in logic main power bombs. Uh, very interesting um, that we get Grapple Beam first. Usually when you see that, there's a good chance Screw Attack is buried. Well, it's one or two options. I'll agree with you half, halfway on that, Captain. It's either buried somewhere late or it's practically right next to each other. Oof, and unfortunately, Schwartz took a little bit of a fall here. Actually, if uh, the Temple Grounds hint is to be believed, Morph Ball or Wave Beam should be here, and there you go. Well, there's Morph Ball, so that assumes Wave Beam is right off of uh, GFMC, then. Indeed, which means it's either just chilling in the crate, or it's on the ship. Which and means we, we need to fight Jump Guardian for it. Indeed. But we are about to find out the second we get through Trooper Security Station. Yes, now, you may notice that we're actually scanning to open the door here compared to our old uh, Echoes Weeklies. We are not running on the new patcher. The main reason being is because that is technically still in an experimental state, and we're not using experimental equipment for this tournament, at least not yet. Um, I do believe, however, this could be enabled by RA if the runners chose. Now, unfortunately, with no space jump, Schwartz is trying to the dupe jump here. 
Uh, what is that in Reliquary? It is a prime life support system. It can either be a prime energy tank or suit. Oh, we got lucky. It's on the crate item, not jump guardian. That is very good for uh, prime because that does give a lot of items open. That opens up Tower of Light, um, which is been known very lately ever since pretty much ever since it got enabled in uh the logic um to have um to have major progression it's been a pretty common occurrence now a little thing here you saw how shy guy picked up the power bomb tank there in ruined shrine and that the game stopped to let him know that the reason being is because if there is another prime uh two item or another cross game item like that unlimited beam ammo, for example, uh, the game stops in order to give the, um, the game flashes the pop-up in order to give the uh, multi-world server some time to move stuff over. Because otherwise, if too many items were picked up too fast, one of them wouldn't go through. And with that being said, we'll go take a look over at an office size, see what's over on Grand Wind Chamber. Doesn't look to be terribly important. And Tower of Light is now Tower of Missiles, but we did find our light beam underneath the tower. And I do believe that is a perfectly logical light beam courtesy of Wave Beam and Space Jump. So another a very nice early set of equipment, although light beam, not the best Echoes beam to start with usually because it doesn't grant you Dark World access. And it only opens up maybe a handful of doors, especially in Aegon. So it's good to have, but it's definitely not the, op the big... Uh, opener that I think runners were hoping for. We're going to get our artifacts here, and we see Sentinel's Path, a Cursed Lake, which we knew already. Somewhere in Furnace, Hall of the Honored Dead, uh, Magma Pool, Sun Chamber, you love to see it, Dark Torvis Temple! Ah, yes! Uh, Judgment Pit, that's Jump Guardian. All right, we've got trash, folks! Oh, that's Beautiful. All right. And interestingly, we have an Emerald Translator in Transport A access discovered by Schwartz Gandhi. Now, that is a really wonky spot for Emerald Translator. Now, it should be noted that I believe dangerous actions are set to placed randomly. So that should be an in-logic Emerald Translator, I would think, for the first run through, since we're on Old Patcher especially, for the first run through GFMC. So I'm pretty sure that's a logical Emerald Translator. And to answer a question in chat, Dark Torvis Temple is uh, the Chica boss. Well, it could work in their favor, Captain. You said multiplayer items are shuffled. That gives the possibility of finding Cannonball before we have to go fight Chica. Indeed. In that case, Chica Larva, it doesn't take too terribly long, especially with unlimited ammo being found. An adult gets one shot due to Cannonball's secondary effect. Indeed. And I would say, I would argue Unlimited Beam Ammo is probably the next best thing next to Cannonball, just because it aids both phases of the fight, and if you don't have Cannonball, at least you can hopefully have Unlimited Annihilator spam. Alright, now we're going to see Schwartz return to Aegon here. It looks like Leno has already um, finished up the GFMC loop as well and will be receiving Emerald, but has also just got an Amber Translator from Watery Hall Access. It looks like both Prime players are neck and neck, copying each other almost perfectly. Indeed. So Lenefus got a little time back on Schwartz here, courtesy of getting Space Jump on the first pass. Yeah, we got a missile expansion off a of Watery Hall, though. Yeah, unfortunately, no explosives for Prime yet, so unable to check Dynamo at this time. No, but the Echo's... Echo's players are in good position right now with the light. I'm not necessarily light beam, but that that amber translator will do them great once they get back to Aegon Wastes. Indeed. And Speaking actually, technically, we have meeting grounds access courtesy of amber plus light beam. But the the only reason you would go there now is for a hint, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. It looks like we actually just found bombs in transport A access, um, which it looks like that might be what Samuel's turning. Oh no, Samuel's in. Um, save warping to check artifacts, presumably. Uh, frigate crash site, okay. <laughs> oh, Captain, do you know Dark Aether's atmosphere is dangerous? Oh, yes. Well. 
All right, so this is Schwartz Gandhi about to pick up. This is actually a perfectly in launching space jump courtesy of power bombs. So, so far, no logical conundrums yet, except for technically phase on suit. But phase on suit, again, is only good for one check. So, I highly doubt there will be any major items in phase on mining tunnel. I would doubt it. But Schwartz really should make a play back to Great Temple soon, try to pick up Prime's more fall bombs. All right, we're going to get another quick peek in Mining Plaza here. That th looks, looks a bit like better. A, looks like a missile expansion. Look gold, at least. It, I would agree it would look to be an Echo's missile. But yeah, our runners couldn't unfortunately get uh, bombs on their first pass through transport B access, not A access, um, because of a lack of either bombs or space jump. Uh, but for Echo, space jump does let them go get it courtesy of a slope jump. What do we have here in... Um, gathering hall that looked like a flamethrower or a wave buster wave buster which in my unpopular opinion is absolutely useless but <laughs> yeah very niche case very niche cases where it could be useful but to get real meat out of it you do need a very large number of missiles and fortunately prime does not have a method for unlimited missiles similar to echoes it's just not in its coding indeed uh, what do we have there in Mining Station A? That looks to be an Echo's power bomb. Yeah, the only, the only, as chat points out, the only real niche, the real niche case for Wave Buster is to kill Flogra with, uh, to kill Flogra without bombs. But we probably won't be seeing that unless some meme settings are turned on this tournament. That's fair, but real quick, we're going to pop over to Shy Guy and find out that Burn Dome has a missile expansion. How lovely. Indeed. Oh, let's see what else has. And it looks like Prime has also found their main power bombs. I didn't quite see where that took place, but it did let Sam go back for Spider Ball in Ruined Shrine. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't catch that either. That's not good. Uh, it was in Frigate Crash Site, uh, Chad is saying. No, it's not a terrible location. Oh, and I'm mistaken that uh, it looks like Mining Station A actually had a thermal visor. It, it did, yes. Oh, and Sand Cash, uh, Amber Translator <laughs> bearing fruit immediately with a screw attack in Sand Cash. So not uh, nearly as much of a panic over that grapple beam as we thought. Uh, okay, so Dark Dark Egg, Dark Aegon, Phase on Mines, and Great Temple. And we already saw the Great Temple one on Umos 1. So Dark Aegon and Phase on Mines have the last Amorbis key. That's That's a bad spot, frankly, for that. Because Mines is a bit off the table at the moment. Alrighty, let's see. Well, it's time to say hello to everyone's fun mini boss, the uh the big ol' splinter. Not the splinter. Well he's a splinter and someone's behind, but damn alpha digger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, luckily with main power bombs, especially this fight should be a joke. First you yeah. see him, then you don't. Yeah. Although personally, if I have the chance, I will try taking him out with screw attack. Oh, well, that's just a rough, rough way to go. It is, but and it's 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 very hard to do. It's it, the thing is with screw attack on Bomb Guardian is that it's practically random whether or not it works. I think it has to do with connecting the screw attack with both the tail and the head, just like the power bomb. But I don't understand it entirely myself. I just know that it works, and when it does, it's amazing. I mean, wow, Shy got pulling off a spider spider track skip over to get into Furnace. All right, and the artifact is not up there, so the artifact is just down below, but we did find a dark suit, an Echo suit, in Sand Canyon, courtesy of the Light Beam and Screw Attack and Power Bombs. So... Yeah, I, I told you Light Beam was useful. Indeed, and it's definitely showing it for now for the logic. So, for the moment, uh, both runners, uh, both sides, uh, really do have quite a bit to do courtesy of having bombs and wave beam now the one thing that's holding prime back at the moment is various suit yeah, you can't really get through magmore without it not with this low energy at least yeah we've seen a handful of prime e tanks but to get really a lot done in magmore with variolous magmore you want at least four or five 
Uh, I feel bad for Lenophis, though. We ran out of power bombs over in Sand Canyon. Can't pull off the quick kill on Dark Samus 1. Indeed. At least us have unlimited light beam, which will make life a little bit easier. Although you could also use screw attack as well. It's probably the next most powerful move in the arsenal. Oh, uh, hold on. We just found our ice beam over on Shy Guy. All right. So ice beam in Far Chozo. And I think that's a perfectly logical ice beam too. Uh, no, it's not. That standable definitely isn't in logic and beginner difficulty. Well, who cares? They got ice beam. It's, it's a movement option. Yeah, for Prime at the moment. Advantage. Indeed, there's actually quite a lot the Prime players can do now with Ice Beam. That offers some backup options. Oh, and we did find our first Sky Temple key on Prime's side as well, over on Sam, the top of Furnace. Unless it's right. not Furnace. Uh, upper Dynamo. Thank you. <laughs> Which is, it's a very good uh, thing that Sam went back to check that, because Upper Dynamo is a very, very easy spot to last location if things don't work, uh, if things don't work out and your route doesn't take you back here. So that's definitely something Shy Guy's gonna have to, is gonna learn eventually when Lenifus reads the uh or yeah, when Leno reads the um the hints here. Alright, but we um, need to take a peek at main reactor's secondary item though. And what's on Dark Oasis? Ah, missile related upgrade. Well that could be useful. It could very much not. Uh it's prime it's prime's missile related upgrade, uh, as it listed MSTs. Therefore, uh, um it therefore uses. it's yeah, it can only be a missile tank. Because the only missile system in Prime is Missile Launcher, which runners start out with by default anyway. So, yeah, if you ever see a hint that reads Prime's missiles in an, a, uh, in an ink cache, it's completely dead. Guaranteed. All right. We did a, take a peek at Hall of the Elders as well on uh, Shy Guy's side, and it is uh, nothing, literally. And with that being said, Lenoff is going to do a quick warp to start back to Great Temp. Great Temp Energy Controller. Yes, that is the Great Energy Controller now. You can fight me on it. <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, I don't argue with that. Yeah, I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep renaming rooms as we go. <laughs> That's okay. Prime, uh, Prime for the Nintendo GameCube room names are hard. Both Prime and Echoes. Yes, indeed, my friend. Yes, indeed. Hey, Ooh. look at that. We found our area suit. All right, so... Locked behind Ice Beam. Yeah, that's really interesting. That's behind Ice Beam. So if chat um, can help me out on this one, because my prime logic admittedly is not the best here. Um, well, ice is was cross Boost and Supers, according to Axis, so... It is locked by Boost and... Boost and Supers locked. Okay. So, and we've seen neither of those. So that's a... Oh, that's a buried gravity suit. If uh, not gravity, various suit. If that's the case, buried various suit. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. Indeed. So, right, so you can't get out. But what are you gonna do? Just gonna sit there until you get uh, till you get ice beam? Well, there's a problem with that. That would be. That is something the game could potentially expect you to do. We actually did have a case where I found somebody's translator in storage D, and that translator locked my dark beam. Uh, that was a very long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away, where we do locate our cobalt translator hitting behind the door. That is in great, great tree chamber, yeah. So, okay, that ice beam's definitely pulling some dividends here, and it looks like, so I here's what's happening here. Set. Yeah. and. Because Shy Guy hasn't found anything for Prime, it's perfectly safe for him to reset away and get back to, um, and to get back to save uh, previous save rooms because, uh, no need to go back for everything because as long as the Echoes player saves, uh, uh everything shouldn't get reset away. Schwartz being a little gutsy there, not detonating those Phazon canisters, but uh, from the pirates before leaving the room. Although, granted, I haven't had any issue with those uh, hitting me in the face on, in such manner before. Well, I'm now, st <laughs> now, that, now that you say that, it's going to happen to you. Yeah. Well, no, I usually make sure it doesn't happen. I just I just snipe them out early. Now, what was that in Upper Furnace? Uh, Sam took a look. Let me see. Uh, it looks like a missile tank. I can tell you it is an item. All right. That's as useful as I'll be. <laughs> Really, because I'm half blind. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, but while you figure that out, well, we're going to have Schwartz moving back through Aegon Labs. Oh, maybe not. Is he going to turn around? Oh, it's going to turn around, do a jump to get the item without having to use the turret. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, especially considering it's containing his bombs. <laughs> That's not a good place for them, but it's not terrible. Given the space jump screw attack, it's probably one of the more inoffensive places I would say it could be. Yeah, it's just more of a more of a jerk place that I put them. Oh, yeah. So there's the prime power bombs. Alrighty. Crash yeah. Ticket. So those were only locked we were, by space jump. Yeah, we were informed of that already, though. Yeah, I believe frigate crash site in this difficulty is put in logic just by beginner space jump scan dash. Um, if not the underwater slope jump, for sure. Uh, prime E tank over on command center. We're definitely seeing a decent amount of energy tanks, which is kind of uncommon for races on these, uh, spe on speed gaming. Let's be honest. Usually we, uh, at least for the echo side, we're ending up going at least like 30, 40 minutes without an energy tank. It's happened. And it leads to a horrendous, horrendous movement in Dark Aether, trying to manage your energy. Yes, and indeed, uh, thankfully, we do have a relatively accessible dark suit, courtesy of oh, Sand Canyon. Oh, no, Sam, you almost had that, almost had that bomb jump. And he yeah. missed it at the last one. All right, we're getting a hint for the battleground in cash, and it is dead because it is prime missiles. Well, now, that is one of the more oh, go ahead. What are you what are you thinking? Uh, now, uh, it should be noted we do still need Dark Visor anyway, since we know an artifact is in a cursed lake. So we actually still need quite a bunch of things. We obviously need the Torvis keys, which of which we have not seen any of yet. Um, which is quite concerning. Give it time. Give it time. We still have a lot of game left to go. True enough. And we did also see the um we did also see the cobalt translator um pick up as well so that does mean all of our runners our, our runners will be able to access all of their hints what i'm trying to say there which means it may not be a bad idea to dip sanctuary relatively soon the only thing that's stopping a really good sank dip at the moment is actually just dark beam uh would bombs also be needed to do a whole lot yeah bombs would need yeah. be needed to go further uh, we got the Hive Temple key hint uh, in Aegon Energy Controller. Th those are irrelevant, thankfully. Yeah, I don't... I can sort of agree with your Sank play, but without the... Do we have Spider Ball for Echoes yet? We don't, actually. So that would only give our uh, runners logically one check, realistically, potentially two. Uh, I, think um, at, I think you're looking at three minimum. Uh, well, uh, the th you've got uh, Hollow Combat Mastery that can do with the, with the uh, ball time screw attack. Indeed. Uh, Hazen Cliffs open with light charge light beam. And then calling chamber. Well, no, you can't really get calling chamber. You have no spider ball to get back out. Yeah, calling chamber is the big question mark for that play. So we're yeah, seeing right. an interesting move from Sam here. Sam is doing boostless life grove. Uh, that's a difficult trick to try to pull off. Yeah, and we're going to be seeing a lot of. We're probably going to be seeing a lot more tricks of the nature of. Uh, sort of one-way trips because with the ability to send items to other players, you don't necessarily need to be able to get out um, if the item in question doesn't belong to you. Oh, and he pulls it off like third try. This, this guy's just going insane with these bomb jumps lately. Come on. Play some tricks for the rest of us. <laughs> All right. Uh... In the meantime, Shy Guy is our first to dip Magmore, courtesy of that various suit. We didn't see anything much in Fiery Shores or um, Warrior Shrine. So we're now going to be seeing the path through uh, early Magmore to Lava Lake, I would wager. And while you take care of that, Schwartz is going for an early Sanctuary play. Granted, no Spider Ball, but we can screw attack over into Upper Sank if we really want to go, if we want to do a backwards loop. Well, no, technically it's not backwards. We're on the opposite side of the mini gyro chamber. That is a dark burst in Hall of Combat Mastery, which doesn't do us any good, unfortunately. Uh, but Hazen Cliff Annihilator. <laughs> and that, you know what? That's a perfectly in logic Annihilator beam. 
So I'm sure Schwartz does not mind getting the knowledge of that right away, although probably would have liked a slightly more useful hint than, hey, the item you're on your way to go get anyway is right here. Well, I mean, it's better than telling you that you already have the item that you're pick going to get. Okay. Ah, to answer chat's question, Wavebeam was siding off of uh, GFMC crate. So just sitting there behind a big golden crate waiting for it to be picked up. And just in case you're not familiar with how Echo's mechanics work for beam ammo, Lenefus just discovered that if you defeat enemies with light ammo, you get dark ammo. And if you defeat enemies with dark ammo, you get light ammo. What an amazing concept, which the game only tells you like once the second you pick up light beam. Pretty much. I, I can't recall if it ever mentions it again after the initial pickup. I don't think so. All right, so after the qu very quick Magmore dive, uh, we've already got Shy Guy in um, uh, good grief. What am I trying to say? Shy Guy's already in Fendrana going straight for Chapel of the Elders. But unfortunately for Schwartz, that is where the Sank dive is going to have to end for now. There's not a whole lot else we can do here without Dark Beam. Unfortunately, Dark Beam's the biggest door opener in all of Echoes. Yeah, definitely one of the more preferred moves. Getting a little bit uh, smacked around by this quad. But again, with four energy tanks, there's not a whole lot that can kill you by now in Echoes. And our runners are very safe as far as energy is concerned. You know, the second you say things like that, it makes me scared that you're going to summon something that's going to have a negative effect. You mean like, uh, well, it can't be progress. Well... It could be. So we know that there is a life support system in Ing Reliquary. Now that you bring that up, that could be Gravity Suit, which who knows? Maybe Echo Super Missiles and Biohazard Containment? I don't know. Well, it's going to happen, but it looks like Mama She Got doesn't have anything useful today. All right. So that will uh, encourage Shy Guy to just bust right out of here. And Lenefus wisely going for the uh, Broom Closet first due to the fact that we already know Jump Guardian is an artifact. So really no point in um, going for that first. Uh, better to check for an item and see if you can get a boost. Bad. Short's finding out the Dark Samus 1 hides a missile expansion. So at least that we is, have the information on him. That is actually not just any missile. That is unlimited missiles as noted by a Echo's missile launcher model and it being a bit on the large side. Okay, it'll just be an unnaturally a large single missile. Yeah, and for Prime specifically, that uh, it should be noted that this uh, that unlimited missiles in Prime takes the form of an Echo's missile expansion, not Echo's missile launcher, because the Echo's missile launcher model is not normally in Prime. Oop, what was that in Ice Runes East? I think that was a power bomb. Well, while you try to figure out what's on Ice Ruins East, we'll see Lenofus practically just one-shotting Jump Guardian thanks to his hitbox being spawned in. Ooh, and we just discovered some very good information on Shy Guy's side, and that was Gravity Suit in Upper Ice Ruins East. So that is locked by Spider Ball. Ooh, and Short's going for a fairly difficult trick. And, oh, he almost had it. Yeah, what you're seeing here is Schwartz do a multi-bomb space jump to get on top of the turret debris, because uh, it turns out if the turrets are destroyed at a specific angle, uh, you're able to stand on them and morph inside them, and in doing so correctly, you're able to jump your way to the other side to be able to check sand processing without boost ball. Unfortunately, the sand is so small to grab, and it's so high in the air, it's... Very precise in which which direction an angle will be facing. Although we did just find a ball upgrade. What are we going for? Oh, it's Cannonball. See, I told you Cannonball was going to come around somewhere. Indeed, but Samuel not picking it up. So Schwartz might have asked um, Schwartz might have asked uh, Sam to let it go for now. If I had to take a guess, I believe he might be waiting until it's closer to fight Chica to go back and get that if it's easy to uh, return to. Yeah, with it being in um, Storage Cavern, it's not the worst in the universe to return to, and it looks like Boost Ball would have only yielded an ETM out of sand processing anyway.
Well, I mean, it'd be, it'd be good to have the mock boost ball out of out of that cannonball, but the well, second we hit a kinetic orb cannon, uh, we can just say goodbye to that. All right, let me just take a quick peek at the playback to see what Shy Guy discovered in Ice Ruins West here. It is... I have no idea what that was. It was pretty a, dim is what it was. Well, it's an item. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I'm not I'm not a nice co-host, it seems. Mainly as I'm blind again. And Schwartz, you know, is he happy with that item? No, not particularly over on main reactor. Yeah, now that could be pretty easily, not easily, I should say, but there is a screw attack into tunnel that you could do to pick that up. Um, and with no, uh, with no other ball upgrades besides, uh, bombs, yeah, that really is pretty much the better method for getting it. Well, thankfully that, it is an easier trick to pull off. It's great for beginners who want to learn screw attack movement. And yeah, although... Unlim unlimited tries, and you have a fairly open margin for play. All right, we're seeing Lenifus perform a uh, Seekerless entry into Torvis here. With Emerald Translator and Light Beam, this does give you a handful of things to do. Uh, this will get you, assuming that uh, Leno could pull it off, which almost did, just misangled that screw attack just a little. That's, a, that's an extremely difficult way to open this door. Ooh, that you time walk, the... Uh... Lots are all over the place, and you have barely any room to form a screw attack. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but yeah, that is definitely, um, this is definitely some advanced trickery we're trying to see here from Lenefus because if this is pulled off successfully, you know, this does give you three uh, good, um, three items back here. Yeah, it gives you Underground Tunnel, Grove, and Med Vista. Now, granted, Lenefus has a relatively easy supply of missiles available to him back in the transport to Aegon elevator. Yep, oh, and Sam making his first appearance over in, over in Fendrana Drifts. All right, Schwartz has also chosen to warp to start. So for the Echoes player, realistically, I'm trying to think what is available. With Annihilator and Light Beam, we do have access to Torvis Lagoon to the front of Torvis, but we can't do much else. Uh, the item in Torvis Lagoon is technically out of logic until Gravity Boost, but uh, runners could do the uh, Air Underwater trick to grab it. We also have Play of Dark Worship as Schwartz Gandhi is going to go check real quick. It'd be great if Play of Dark Worship had your Dark Visor on it. Uh, I'd love Seeker Missiles right about now. Yeah, I think if you're Echoes, you really want... You want either Seeker Missiles or Dark Beam right now. Although I th feel like Seeker Missiles would be a little better. I have no idea what that is. But whatever it is, Schwartz wants it. It's it's shiny. Echo uh, Prime, Prime Supers. Super. And that's pretty important because that is one of the keys we know that locks the Prime Ice Beam. Yeah, talking about which, uh, it should be noted, Sam's already out of bounds. <laughs> uh, we all saw this one coming. So what oh. is, oh, is uh, Sam going to do the, um, this is at least going to be an out of bounds check for um, Chozo Ice Temple, but I don't remember if infinite speed is allowed in these settings in uh, our rule set. Oh, well, Schwartz just pulled off an amazing first try secretless on secretless door to a cursed lake uh very nice so that is going to give um yeah and chat saying it, your method is disallowed without ra disallowed without ra okay we see that there is a major upgrade in defiled shrine and this is for who whose side was this let's see uh leno's so that's so there's an echo's major upgrade in defiled shrine that's Pretty big deal, because that could very easily be, like, Echo Visor. It could be just Sunburst or Sonic Boom. Those are considered major items. I, I would disagree with Sonic Boom, but that's a more on a personal level I have with it failing all the time. <laughs> I can understand that. Uh, but here we go. We've got an X-Ray Visor in uh, Torvus Grove. Now, this is out of logic until we find... What's stopping us right now? Either supers or seekers. Because if we get supers, 
Well, we'd also need Dark Beam to go through the front door of Torves. I'm having um, a hard time figuring out what you're thinking of. I'm thinking of um, ways that we can get to under the underground tunnel area with our current equipment. Right now, logically, we need either Seeker Missiles or uh, Dark Beam to get through the front plus Super Missiles. Actually, no, just, yeah, we need Dark Beam to get to Torvis Temple anyway. Yeah, uh, right now, uh, Dark Beam and Supers are, uh, no, we could just go with Dark Beam because they have Emerald. Um, well, the thing is, um, the elevator to get down to the temple. Right, you need to go through an energy controller for it to lo log. Right. So, you regardless, so yeah. So, either Dark Plus Supers or Seekers. So, either of those, a combo of either of those would put that in logic. Oh, that and tech, uh, well, don't you technically need boost ball to get up that half pipe? Uh, Yes. Which we did see the cannonball earlier, but um, again, it looks like Schwartz uh, has asked Sam to not pick it up for the time being. Yeah, I'm betting it's for that Chica fight later on. There's a very safe bet it's for that Chica fight because it is required regardless. We already know it contains a Chozo artifact. And thankfully, cannonball dealing 500,000 damage per frame of actual contact. It's uh, it makes it so there's no fight. Indeed. For the second phase. Still haven't found a way around Chica Larva, though. Yeah, that thankfully with Annihilator plus Unlimited Beam Ammo is not nearly as concerning. Unfortunately, it looks like Leno has not made the dive to Sanctuary yet to pick up his Annihilator Beam, which is a bit unfortunate. Well, it could be po He doesn't have the information regarding it, though. As you found that hint so locked behind Cobalt in uh, Hall, of Com not Hall of Combat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it's unfortunate because Hazen Cliff is perfectly in logic with the equipment available. Yeah, I'm um, thinking, I'm thinking he's because he, he doesn't have Spider Ball. Well, Prime has Spider Ball now. The second I say that with Shy Guy. Yeah. So what happened was is that Shy Guy didn't come back here after picking up main power bombs to grab this. So that does give Shy Guy Gravity Suit back in Ice Ruins East, and Sam has actually already just picked that up. Uh, so Sam is running full suits, and I do believe we're running progressive suit damage resistance in this preset, so. Yeah, if I had to take a guess, I don't know if it's waiting until he gets a spider ball to do a loop in Sanctuary. Just do it all at once instead of having to go make multiple trips. All right, so we see that Defiled Shrine contains a Morph Ball-related upgrade, so that has to be Booster Spider. Yeah, that's fair. Interesting. I would love to see the information regarding Dark Beam. That's holding back a lot of item checks. I'm trying to think if there's anything stop. Well, obviously, supers, uh, super missiles. Uh, so, yeah, super missiles right now are the only thing stopping us from getting that item by logic. It's possible with Leno's current equipment, you could do this. You could check Sky Temple key hints without supers and seekers. With Dark Suit and six energy tanks, it's not. It is an out of bounds traversal, but you have the time required to do it. I wouldn't call it an easy out of bounds by any stretch. I wouldn't call oh, anything no, out of bounds related not. easy, but um, well, it's it's easier in uh, it's easier in echoes, isn't it? Based on Prime's movement, mainly because you don't have that sort of limited influence falling business. Okay, I it looks like Sam took another pass over Ice Runes West, but I still couldn't tell what that was. Well, if he's not going for it, it doesn't seem to be too terribly important. Yeah, unfortunately, that is locked by Plasma Beam as well, so... Oh, we do yeah. get to take a peek at the uh, ship item now. This jump Guardian's defeated. Yeah, that's true. This item's been kind of sitting in our pocket for a handful of minutes now. Hey, look, a missile expansion. <laughs> never mind. What do, you, what do you mean, never mind? Missiles are always nice. Uh, you, you know, I can't. You, you make a good point, especially for Prime. Missiles are definitely more of a big deal because A, they're slightly harder to replenish due to the drop system, and B, you're more likely burning a lot of them in short order for um, Ice Spreader and Super Missiles. That's fair. Uh, morph Ball in. That is a Great Morph. Great uh, morph yeah, Morph Ball Bombs in Great Temple. We see a. I believe that's a red key in Vault. Uh, that is not... I think that's guaranteed a Chica Key. Yep, you're right. It is Chica. 
because we did see the hive key hint as well, and it did not say Chozo Ruins, I don't think. All right, it didn't look like it, not from what I saw. And we know the Aegon keys aren't in Chozo either, so yeah, that ha that had to be guaranteed a chick key. So now we found, you know, <laughs> despite what I said earlier, now... Um, now we've already found two Chicka keys, so that is pretty good. There's still a couple of things keeping us away from Chicka at the moment. At the same time, you don't necessarily have to worry about Chicka until very late game, because it is just an artifact. If it were something like Plasma Beam, we'd be singing a much different tune. But uh, an artifact you can save for later on in your routing. Oh, there's another STK over on uh, Sam's side. All right, so that's... Uh, we've seen a couple of STKs at this point. I think we're at three now on Schwartz's side. And we got one for Ventilation Area A. We have one where Sam just saw, and there's a third one, which I can't think of the flipping room. That would be Upper Dynamo. Thank you. And is Sam going for, an, for a fight skip? looks like it one of the few tricks that works even in trilogy don't know if it works in remastered i haven't tried it yet and schwartz to be fair uh, schwartz is taking full advantage of that sunburst by the way to uh get the jump guardian quick kill i don't think i remember hearing and chat can confirm with me on this i don't think uh what's his face uh jump guardian actually takes any special damage to sunburst but I could be wrong on that. Okay, yeah, Aegon, Inghive, Magmore have the Hive keys. Well, even if it's bad, Sunburst is pretty handy for, uh, what, what you call it, Grapple Guardian. Grapple Guardian and uh, Boost Guardian. Double damage Sunburst is actually a one-shot. If you can hit it properly. Indeed. Which I can never seem to do. I always can't, I can't aim. All right, nothing of importance in Junction Sight. So it's starting, uh, the Echoes, interestingly enough, it's the Echoes player that's going to start running out of checks here, which is pretty uncommon to say the least. Mo normally the Prime player is the one that's first to enter BK mode due to a lack of like various suit or bombs or anything of that nature. And I think, uh, I think Schwartz scanning that Lightbringer is a bit of a clue there that um, he's out of checks. We might have a BK scenario, and Sam has actually not checked artifact hints yet. Uh, has four at, four of them already. Now, the fact that Sentinel's Path is required isn't that great, because that unfortunately requires Annihilator Beam as well as Echo Visor. Now, Annihilator, granted, we have already, but um, Echo could be a bit of a question mark. There's unfortunately, there's a lot of places Echo Visor can be. Now, there is also a Screw Attack Unmorph that could potentially get you that Sentinel's Path artifact. I am not familiar with any of the SAUs, but it is an incredibly difficult trick. One that's only been put to extreme use uh, over the last few months. <laughs> Apparently, Sam had a double take on the Chica artifact. Which, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't blame him. I'm going to go fight a terrible boss for it. So Schwartz is now going into the meeting grounds area. This is going to grant at the very least two hints. We may see a play for Sky Temple key hints as well. Uh, Sky Temple hints would be great. You could, yeah, you could, if you wanted to, you could try to backdoor into Hall of the Honor Dead. <laughs> see what's hiding underneath there. Uh, like no seekers, so you'd have to do the uh, seekerless door. Well, Hall of Honor Dead is already an artifact, and it could be picked up right now because Schwartz does have... Um, You're right, it is an artifact, and I even wrote it down. I'm staring here at the note that I wrote. Yeah, because Actually, uh, I take that back. Schwartz can't get that yet because um, Schwartz is not packing Boost Ball or Cannon Ball, so can't actually get up the half pipe into the, um, into the hall right now. No, but uh, Shy Guy can find his gravity suit, though. Uh, progressive <laughs> Suit... An Aegon Temple. I think that's a... Hang on a minute. Okay, one room away from Aegon Temple, yeah. So... Mineshaft? Uh, that was the one in Sand Canyon. Oh, yeah, right, right, other side. Um, yeah, mineshaft... 
Yeah, Mineshaft, unfortunately, we're missing out on Dark Beam, which is, yeah. it's, where is this Dark Beam? Now, granted, we're not, oh, we are yeah. potentially, we are potentially in a position, depending on where we find, like, Supers and Seekers, for example, there is a world where Dark Beam could be skipped out on. It's not a vast world, but it is a world. Okay, well, looks like Schwartz is reading hints again. Uh, I think double checking, double checking probably the, um, I was going to say probably double checking the uh, Defiled Shrine hint. But what we're going to see Schwartz do here is um, get out of bounds by getting to the top of this elevator up here. Or this sort of, um, gondola. yeah, yeah, gondola. That's a great, yeah, exactly. Uh, now, Schwartz is doing the BSJ method. I prefer the screw attack bonk method, but... Um, just jump out of bounds. That's that's all you need to do. Just jump. <laughs> pretty much. If you can reach the room ceiling and there's no ceiling, yeah, just jump out of bounds. As long story short, every room in Echoes is in a box. If you reach the opening to that box, congratulations, you're now outside that box. But, Captain, you want to give us some more in-depth explanation? <laughs> sure. Um, so, in... In the outer edge, uh, out, just a minute, words. The outer edge of the box, you have the, uh, <laughs> the aether. Right. And in that outer, in that aether, when you make the transition to and from the aether, you have three frames to perform a jump, which it looks like Schwartz has been having zero trouble with, for the record. <laughs> All right. So we see uh, that um, war ritual grounds check there, and it is a uh, ammo tank, so not important. But yes, yeah, so what we're seeing Schwartz do again is that three-frame window where you transition between Aether and normal gravity. And again, you have three frames to perform a, for, perform a jump. And that's the basic TLDR of out-of-bounds movement. Go inside box, go outside box. Go inside, go outside. All right. Now, uh, <laughs> what Schwartz is going to do is actually get to the top of the uh, box here for the um, for this Hall of the Eyes and just waltz right over the entire room to get to the Seeker's door. Now, this is way easier than, in my in hindsight, than screw attacking into the tunnel in um, Defiled Shrine, but it looks like uh, oh, Schwartz hit the ceiling of the other room, ceiling warped in, and there you go. That was a great, great ceiling warp. All right, now get prepared for the cursed Sky Temple key hints. Yeah, currently Schwartz is packing three, meaning we still need another um, handful. Six. All right. Here we go, folks. Get your pens and notepads ready. We have for our remaining key hints. Watch station. Eh. Transit station. That's, o that's okay, too. Forgotten bridge. That's a freebie. That should be a freebie at this point. Main quarry. I mean, it's not great, but not a whole lot keeping our runners out of that. Ooh, Therm Ooh uh, Dark Visor Dark rather Visor. in workstation. That's a good location for it. It's along the way. Yeah, Spider Ball um, or Gravity Suit would have put that in logic. So that's actually been in play for a handful of minutes. Well, we found Gravity Suit over in Vendrana. Uh, Vault is a key. Mining station B is a key. Okay, so the keys actually aren't that bad. Vault is Vault is actually probably the biggest pain in the backside right now because you're uh, that needs boost ball, and right now we only have cannon. Yeah, but all, I don't like Vault at all. It's it's the most out of the way room outside of Airy. Now I'm trying to look at our situation here and think if there is a world where we don't need dark beam, and the only world I can think of if that is the case is one where we find super missiles, which we need anyway for uh, temp for temple access. I saw Leno took another look at mining plaza. Let me see here. I still can't tell what it is. I'm, but yeah, I'm trying to think right now. Uh, does anybody, could somebody list in chat, please, our prime artifacts, our remaining prime artifacts? All right, coming up at you. Thank you. Uh, Cursed Lake, Hall of Honor Dead, um, Dark Tower's Temple Judgment Pit. Yeah, we should be finding super missiles anyway, but there is a world where we don't need, uh, no, there isn't. Mining Station B. 
Yeah, mining station B hard requires it to get into mine shaft. Yeah, so we need dark beam, unfortunately. Yeah, and it looks like Schwartz wants to keep the hints and actually bust out of Sky Temple grounds here. Oh, this is going to be a check for the uh, defiled shrine item. Uh, especially courtesy of the dark visor that uh, Sam has, uh, must have just delivered recently. Yeah. No, oh, but it looks like Leno's on his way to make a first sanctuary loop, though. Go get your Annihilator Beam, friend. You've earned it. Yeah, Annihilator Beam. I'm trying to think if there's anything else Echoes can do right now. And the only thing that comes to mind is <laughs> Battleground and Doomed Entry. That's about it. And even then, Doomed Entry is a one-way trip. Well, actually, hold on. No, nope, so you got screw attack. You could uh, doom ten for you could get uh, battleground. You could do. You can only need light beam for the one of the floors. Yeah, you can get it, but the problem is you can't get out. Get out because yeah, you need dark beam to get to the save station or super missiles to get through warriors walk. So take your pick. It's it's all bad. <laughs> Or you go through Dark Oasis, use the portal with your Annihilator Beam and Life Beam. Well, no, because you need the Dark Beam for that. Damn it! Oh, you can't do that! Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Why no. Why do I think looks... of this stuff after I say it? That's Why okay, I do... stop me? <laughs> it's because I do that all the time myself. <laughs> all right, now with Super Missiles and Spider Ball in tow, we're actually going to see Spider the Sun Ball, Chamber play. Please? Yes. No, that's our boost ball over in Defile Shrine. Oh, that's that's an awkward spot for boost because we need spider too, and we just haven't found it yet. Oh yeah, also apparently defiled shrine isn't loaded if you go from the hall of the eyes. Just good to know that ingworm yeah, just... is actually non-existent. <laughs> oh yeah, just walk out of the room. That's all you need. Today I learned. Isn't learning fun, kids? Now it should be noted if you're playing the remastered version for Prime, every room is not in a box. Because remastered had to change so much and make it that much difficult for us speedrunners. <laughs> yeah, so be aware of that if you're playing uh, Prime Remastered. But yeah, we're going to see a very fast vlogger here, courtesy of Power Bombs. And what it makes this even faster is we have cutscene skipping in Prime. Oh, look, just standing inside Flogger. That's all, yeah, that, that totally makes sense. So yeah, fight starts, fight ends, get artifact. Well, at least it yeah. was on Sun Chamber 1, not the ghost fight. That being said, Sam is probably still going to check ghosts anyway, because this is something that you definitely want to adopt in a cross game race setting, is that if your partner is in BK mode, which Echoes is basically in BK mode for the most part, there's very little they can do, uh, okay. save for the stuff we've just described. Um, you, you, in a situation like this, you want to prioritize check density. Ooh, we're going to see Frigate from Shy Guy here. I like this play, because you can toss the place. You have Thermal, you've got Wave, you got Ice. Why not? And he's got Gravity. Yeah, I really, I actually really like this play, given what we know. Which is not a whole lot. <laughs> We're missing multiple key items that we don't know where to check, and we're running out of checks, and Echoes can't do much, and I'm going crazy over here. I swear, <laughs> if Echo Supers are actually in biohazard containment. Don't say that. <laughs> don't don't be mean, Captain. <laughs> you give enough heartache with, with your seed generations. You don't need item placement thrown in there as well. It could be worse. I could have actually made this. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you go take a five minute break outside the booth? <laughs> Unfortunately, there is nothing on Sun Chamber Ghosts. And Schwartz is still making his way out of bounds, trying to get back. Yeah, I believe this is the last hurdle here. Just one ceiling warp into Hall of the, uh, one of these is Hall of the Eyes. The other is something else for Sky Temple. I always get the, that particular room area mixed up. 
yeah, I don't think the portal is there. So uh, Schwartz is, oh, yeah, it is there. I take that back. Ooh, ooh, not a good place to get, oh. Can't tell if Schwartz is stuck or not. Yeah, he, he can find his way out. He can make it. We have the power of Twitch chat on his side. Oop, temporary freeze there. Sorry about that, folks. And because of that freeze, we now owe the company a few dollars. Oh, dear. But unfortunately, right. Leno's going to go out of bounds using the same method Schwartz did to go get to go get his Sky Temple key hints. All right, we are in biohazard containment now, so let's see. Uh, let's see what's down here. Although, uh, actually, wait a minute. Does shy guy? Does shy guy have supers? Oh no, because um, Leno has not gone to. Um... Oh, good grief! We saw where prime supers were. They were in plane of dark worship. Leno hasn't done that yet. Uh, but can check with Echo Visor. Not Echo. Ooh, uh, X Ray. Boost ball is over in venomous pond. Uh, that would definitely be the prime boost ball. What was that? What was what? Excuse me a minute. I need to take another look at the playback. Well, I couldn't. Know. I couldn't see what that was. But Sam might need to give us another look. You know more about Prime than I do, so I'll hand over the reins on that one. Yeah, just that I couldn't see. Yeah, because unfortunately, yeah, Leno having not picked up um, Prime Supers yet is... Oh, that could make perfect sense, though. Supers oh. lead to Supers. That or Dark Beam could be on Torvus Lagoon. It could be. Uh, if that's the case, that's been in logic for like 40 Forever. minutes. <laughs> If that's the case, that is horrible. I don't like it, and I love it. Dark being uh, locked right there. Oh. Hydro access tunnel is a light ammo tank, and it looks like uh, Schwartz is on the way to Lagoon, so let's see. Please be Dark Beam. All right, we got a poison bog check here, and this is a... Schwartz missile related. You know what stinks? That could be seeker missiles. I hate that you said that. Now nah, it's a missile over on Lagoon. Looks like it. Man, Sam going for bar skip, it looks like. Yeah, and do we have Shy Guy going to mines here? Yes. Now we know Main Quarry is a Sky Temple key, so gonna be a couple of minutes before we find any new specific items here. And with no Ooh, Sam's going to go straight for Frigate as well. So, all right, so we're going to actually see what's in biohazard containment. And we have Chad asking about phase on suit. That was behind the plasma door in... Captain, help me out. Arbor Chamber. Thank you. Yeah, it was found very early because both runners... Well, actually, no, Shy Guy didn't do Arbor Chamber out of bounds. Uh, is still running it. without it. Now, granted, uh, if... There is a world where Prime gets their artifacts early and does fight Ridley for the purpose of checking the phase on suit hint. And once it's seen that it's in Talon, that should tell Shy Guy basically go to Arbor Chamber, if not Life Grove. Meanwhile, we see Lenophis continuing his out of bounds movement on Sky Temple, at Temple Gateway. Yeah, so right now, Leno wants to still get into the uh, temple and go get the hints. Now, Schwartz has... Let's see. All right, so Schwartz has gone back to temple grounds. This is a plane of... What is this, actually? It was... Uh, is this an accursed lake play? Oh, yeah, because this is a... Um, Artifact and Schwartz did not have Dark Visor first pass. So yeah, this is a, a quick detour for the artifact. So yeah, what's essentially happening here is that um What's essentially happening here is that oh Samuel has decided to abort the frigate play and go into um mines. So actually we've got both players in mines. Alright, 
We're going through mines. We have Schwartz picking up the artifact over in a cursed lake. And Leno's out of bounds, continuing through Sky Temple Gateway. Nice notroid. Nice notroid texture there. And my dinner is now cold. <laughs> That's all right. All right, so we're going to see... Um, it's going to be a couple minutes here because Shy Guy and uh, Sam both have to go through the uh, hallway of Wave Pirates before doing too much else. But yeah, quite a number of items they can get in mind. They can go all the way... With this equipment, they can go pretty much all the way to MQA without stopping. The only thing that's going to be a bit of a drag is if we have um, progression here up in up early research. Uh, as that is locked by Prime uh, Boost Ball, which we now know is in Venomous Pond. And Leno has finally made it over to get the key hints. Yeah, Good so... Show. Good show. Indeed. So the Echo's keys, for the most part, seem fairly benign, except for right now Mining Station B. And Vault could be better, obviously. And Leno doesn't want to reset here because that would re uh, reset away his cannonball. Um, and in order to get it back, you would need to pick up... Um, you would need to go to Defile Shrine and get boost. Shy Guy is getting absolutely bullied by these elite research turrets. I'm pretty sure that just ate about half health. Well, it shows they're doing their job as security drones. Fair enough. They are security drones after all. Uh, what is that? Was that a missile tank? I couldn't tell. Oh, right. and Sam being mean using the pirate's head to jump off of. Oh, that's all just right. disrespectful. All right, it looks like Shy Guys had enough of mines. I don't think... I think that might have been a beam ammo tank. Uh, now, with Schwartz having boost ball, Sank is actually... Uh, Sank entrance is actually open uh, in this instance. Only Sank entrance because we need Seeker missiles to go further. But it looks like uh, they're not interested. And Leno is unfortunately resetting away that cannonball, so... Oh, no. Now, granted, I believe they have the hint about boost ball at this point. So it wouldn't be the absolute worst to go back and get that later. Um, especially since right now, again, Echoes is still very much in BK mode. Save for, again, a one-way doomed entry battleground. Uh, there is also this wind chamber gate check that I... Oh, wait, we've seen this already. Yeah, but we did skip where uh, Echo Spider-Ball was, though. As we both seem to have completely missed that. Alright, I completely wasn't paying attention to how bad the maze was on Samuel's side. I don't think it was that bad. No, it wasn't terrible. But it definitely seemed like it was somewhere in the 30 square, low 30s, upper 20s range. Oh, so that's where Echo Spider Ball was. Over in uh, the grapple beam for Prime Storage Depot B. Thank you, chat. We really appreciate that. Ooh, plasma, There's plasma beam. beam. <laughs> plasma beam and phase on processing center. Ugh. Yeah. Now, that at this point basically means Prime can full clear their seed. Knowing what we know. Uh, save for the boost ball shenanigans, but there's you can get away without boost for the majority of these checks. And it looks like Shy Guy's trying to bust out and go to workstation. This mu Yeah, this is likely a Farfandrana play. With Gravity Suit and especially with Plasma in tow now, this is definitely a very sensible play. Ooh, oh, 
little shy guy took a fall. Well, it's very aptly named for their team, so it was bound to happen. And we do see Sam attempting to pull off another boostless pipe movement with his bombs. Yeah, luckily with the equipment we have, this is fairly uh, easy as far as amount of time available to you because you're not you're barely taking any damage. You're at fifty percent resistance, uh, which does include resistance to DOTs. Leno just got super missiles. Oh heck yeah! Where did those come from? Were those they were in? Doomed entry slash battleground, weren't they? Yes, they were. Yep, doomed entry chat saying. I would like to remind the audience that that has been in logic since Annihilator Beam popped up. All right, we are seeing a phase on grounds play from Schwartz. Okay, so at the very least, it's not. So, I'm going to be honest, at first I thought I saw supers in biohazard containment when Shy Guy took a look, but now that's not the case, so I don't have to have uh, to fear the wrath of chat. Well, uh, I, I think you already still feel the wrath of chat, just not for this particular case. <laughs> you might this... want to rethink that statement. <laughs> well, to be honest, this has been a very, very strange seed. Because, again, it's one where Prime is ending up doing a fairly large amount of the heavy lifting, uh, which is not, again, not a common occurrence. But at the same time, again, that super, the supers have been in logic for quite some time. And as an Echoes player, I fully support Prime doing most of the work. Actually, I'm now that sorry. I think about it, that does, um, that does give us boost ball access for Leno. So could very easily go back for that at... Um, at his earliest convenience. Well, that'd be good, because right now he's trying to do a screw attack bonk to get up the half pipe back into Torbus, which it pulls off on his about third try, which is not bad. Oh, and, and there's I... the Seekers. Ooh, that's a good time to find... Well, unfortunately, Leno's already done the screw attack uh, bonk here, but that does let you get Cache without much difficulty, although Cache Seeker list is one of my personal favorites. It's not terribly hard. You got a lot of room to mess with for your screw attack angle. Indeed. Speaking of uh, screw attack angles, let's just go out of bounds again. Uh, has Leno done the fight in this room? I guess so, because the force field must be down. I don't believe he did do the fight in. Uh, oh wait, no, the for force fields. Example. The force field's not that far into the. Uh, that uh, close into the tunnel. Oh, yeah, I'm just now noticing. Shy Guy has X-Ray Visor. Uh, we did see that, actually. Where was that? Uh, it was way back in... I, I can't tell if... Yeah, I never saw it got picked up. I don't remember. I, I remember seeing it get picked up. I just don't remember where. It was in Echoes. That much I do remember. I will say that, given the Super Missile's knowledge, uh, this does seem to put Team Fail Guys in a much better position at the moment. I do think both teams are fairly neck and neck with each other. They both have their highs right now behind in their own aspects. Indeed, you know, for one fail. edge. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. No, no, you're fine. Go. You got more info than I do. Yeah, for, for Team Ultimate Hope, right now their main advantage is that uh, Samuel is already packing phase on suits, so it doesn't have to go hunting for that later. Uh, for Team Fail Guys, their up, uh, advantage is that Leno's packing super missiles. And when it comes to Echo, super missiles are an amazing tool, a lot of potential for broken, broken movement. All right, we got Prime Grapple Beam in, um, Prime Grapple Beam in Torvus Energy Controller and Echo Visor in stor uh, Storage Cave. And we do need that. Uh, I believe for Echoes, we are only looking for Spider Ball and Dark Beam, actually. And I think that's it. Uh, Dark Beam, Spider Ball, uh, Leno found it. We have Seekers already, so that covers that end. Yeah, it I turns think out. You're right. Just, well, no, you need, doesn't Leno also need his Boost Ball still? Uh, Leno is going to have to go back for Boost Ball for Vault. Yes. 
And we also need to find the third chicka key, which uh, we don't know where that is yet. We haven't seen the Torvis keys hint. Uh, we do know that Chica has an artifact, but we've only seen two keys. Now, granted, if we see a key here, that should be the last Chica key, because I don't think any Aegon or Hive keys are in Torvis. And to answer Chat's question, yes, Leno did have to sacrifice Cannonball to get us get out of Sky Temple grounds. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. Although we do see that Thardis has something. Uh, that was a thermal visor hint. And Shy Guy's gonna go ahead and reset here. But right. Unfortunately, Thardis only has a missile. And so far, we've had required Flogger, required Chica, not much else so far. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, it seems that Shy Guy's ch uh, choice to dip far from Drana early here ended up paying out for Leno. Uh, now, that being said, Samuel is in roughly the, um, is about to enter roughly the same neighborhood. Right, but I'm thinking here, Schwartz is possibly going back towards Sanctuary, or he's doing more Aegon cleanup. Uh, without Dark Beam, there's really not a whole lot of Aegon cleanup you can do. This is probably... Unless he's going straight for Torvus through the half pipe. Probably Torvis. Unfortunately, we do know this is going to throw a, uh, throw Schwartz away from uh, super missiles. Uh, on the flip side, though, Leno has discovered gravity boost in um, abandoned work site. Well, that's not a terrible location for it. It's easy to get to. Yeah, given uh, Leno does have lower Torvis available, that is actually a great find right now. Yeah, go for it. But Schwartz doesn't have Seekers, so we're going to have to see another Seekless door open. And he almost had it, first try. I do feel like Lower Torvis is actually probably one of the most dense areas available to our Echoes runners, given what we know. And Schwartz <laughs> just got Seeker Launcher, so... That, that's perfect. That, that couldn't have been at a better time. Yeah, that's 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 what you kind of re really want to see in a multi, is uh, getting the item right as you're about to start doing tough stuff for it. I think Leno's play here should, in my opinion, go for lower Torvis. That's where you can get the most cleanup at. Guaranteed you don't have dark beams, so there are some roadblocks to get past. But with the gravity booster in hand, it's not a terrible detour. Yeah, Leno's just going to go back to Defiled Shrine for a minute, take a quick detour here to grab Boost Ball. Because, again, we know it's needed, and Leno sacked Cannonball at this point. So, yeah, definitely a good call to get this back real fast. But a major upgrade in Defiled Shrine. We already know that's a boost ball. <clears throat> what a wonderful day to explore the land. And yeah, there's the other boost ball hint. So now Leno knows about both boost balls. So yeah, given what we know, we're looking for the last Chicka Key, Dark Beam, and um, Spider Ball. Echo Spider Ball. Prime, on the other hand, is pretty much all good to go here. Well, Echo Spider Ball has been found. The problem is we just don't remember where it's at. Oh, it has? Yeah, yeah Schwartz has had it for a while. Oh, yeah. I j I'm now just noticing that. I just I don't remember where it was found. That's the problem. Up Storage Depot B, that's where it is. Okay, okay, so it was in Upper Mines. Yeah. Which means if Shy Guy does the full loop around uh, Mines here, that um, that should be acquired eventually. Look, Chad, I know you were just talking about it, but I'm slow. Give me a break here. I'm called Grandpa for a reason. <laughs> Which is an ongoing joke. Which I don't know how to feel about it now that I hear it out loud. All right, so Leno's re-retrieved uh, Boost Ball here. Well, I say, I say re-retrieved, but you get the point. Um, Do, I? Do we? Yeah. 
I think Leno's just gonna go ahead and open the door to Sky Temple Gate anyway, just so that it's not an issue for later. Yeah, we don't want, we don't want another reset happening. You know, why can't y'all pick on Captain Chat? You know, come on, that's what he's here for. Oh, they pick on me all the time. You have no, no idea. I'm aware. I've, I've, I've commentated with you multiple times. I'm very much aware of how chat can get. All right, what are we seeing here? I thought we were going to see... Uh, is this going to be a plasma processing check from Sam? Probably. Because, yeah, at this point, we're looking for, effectively, an unhinted Dark Beam and Torvis key. Which I think if you're our Echoes runners at this point, I think your goal at this point is to prioritize hints. Because at this point, any one of those remaining hints can point you towards Dark Beam. And... Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I cut you off. Yeah, yeah, any of those hints could point you to Dark Beam, and one of those hints is guaranteed at least to point you towards the Chica Key. That's fair, you do need that Chica hint. If... If I was in Echo's position right now with the gear that I have, personally, I'd make a play for Lower Torvus only due to the sank and the sank elevator behind the uh, trading chamber. And that's actually a really good route um, when you say that, because without Dart Beam, you can still go with Echo Visor, especially in your pocket, too. You can do the loop practically almost all the way around Sanctuary. Especially only... if you're coming in from Vault side, yes. Yeah, the only area you can't, the only corridor you can't utilize is from um, Main gyro, gyro to Dynamo Works. That's pretty much the only corridor that's locked out by Dark Beam. Yeah, and Dancer Chat, uh, let's see, uh, Chica Key Hint yet, no Prime Boost Ball, Venomous Pond. Yeah, which we're probably going to see Leno grab first, just in the interest of um, assisting his partner. See, teamwork is good. <laughs> yeah, especially since Boost Ball does 50,000 damage to Phase 1 Ridley as well. Which is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of, and it's still strange now that you say it. Oh, yes. How, how do you kill the big flying space dragon? Yeah, throw a ball at it. I see it. That ball's traveling at God knows how many miles per hour, but... Yeah, so it looks like uh, Shy Guy's taking another double check of hints here. All right, so now Schwartz is back in um, Schwartz is back in labs. This is probably a play to. Uh, what is this a play to? Still no super missiles, so this is probably a doomed entry. A doomed entry play. Unfortunately, this requires going all the way back around. Uh, due to no Dark Beam. So this is going to get Schwartz Super Missiles. Meanwhile, Lenofus making his way through Dark Torvus, doing some cleanup over there, which is a good yeah. play. Clean up, what you know, clean up what you can get in hopes of finding what you need. Yeah, because the door from Portal Chamber to Venomous Pond is a dark door, so you do have to go around um, from Putrid Alcove. Get that boost ball while you can get it. We'll see if Leno decides to do a Cash B Chasm play here. Uh. Might safety save first, but otherwise, yeah, I definitely support a Cash B Chasm play in this circumstance. I support Cash B having our last Torvus key. That would be an excellent spot for the last Torvus key, but not the case right. today. <laughs> Bazon suit was over in Arbor Chamber, behind the plasma door. Which, which Sam so graciously went out of bounds for. Yeah, and I can see why Shy Guy wouldn't have gone out of bounds on the first pass, because trying to do Arbor Chamber out of bounds without bombs is, uh, without Morph Ball and bombs, is quite dangerous. Very likely you'll soft lock if you get yeah. stuck. If you get stuck, you're basically soft lock, no questions asked. Yeah, but this is Sam we're talking about. Uh, hello, Exoskip. 
repair exoskip mm. to uh, this arbor chamber skip. I mean, I don't. Th I don't think Sam's thinking about how hard it is. He just wants to do it. Indeed, and we're actually going to see Shy go for OP here. Hey, it could have something useful. Yeah, why not? We're looking for an unhinted dark beam. Oh, if dark beams on OP, no. That, that's just mean. All right. It's hilarious, but it's mean. I would have laughed out loud if that was dark beam in phase on mining tunnel, but it was a missile tank. <laughs> that would have been one of the worst dark beams I've ever seen in cross game. And we're only in round one. <laughs> All right, chat, place your bets. You know, it's that time of the year again. We're coming up to the holidays, so it's betting season. And there it is. And there <laughs> Schwartz, extremely disappointed in those super missile <laughs> placements. <laughs> oh, that's, ter that's still a terrible location, but I love it. I'm just also noticing that one of the Aegon keys, the mine's Aegon key was an MQB. Oh, now, we oh, don't have you, our Morbus hit yet, do we? You know where you're gonna, you know, at the rate we're going, you know where Dark Beam or the last Chicka Key is gonna be on. Don't say a Morbus, man. Well, I don't want to say it out loud, but unfortunately, at least given my experience with well, renovating, yeah, it's a it, rather it, common occurrence. <laughs> I mean, you're you're correct, but I, I've had Light Beam on a Morbus before, and let me tell you, it's not fun. Oh, no, know. absolutely. I, I don't argue with you. It's just, unfortunately, I'm, under, I'm I'm getting the distinct impression this might be the case soon because we haven't gotten an Amorbus hint. And up until this... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just the game laughing at us now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely nothing on OP. <laughs> yep. well, but yeah, I mean, sh is nothing technically something? Not in the context of this game. Well, I mean, for something to exist, nothing has to also be prevalent, wouldn't it? I don't Maybe. know. I don't know philosophy. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, vanilla E-Tank and PCA, but... Um... Training chamber, please? Be kind to us for once. Uh, yes, no, no, by the looks of it. Oh. Oh, fiddlestick. Maybe yes. Hold on. Oh, nah, energy tank. Yeah, and at this point, again, with Dark Suit, I don't think our runners are in any danger anymore. Uh, definitely in pro in both games, I think we're pretty much good to go on E. Yeah, I think you're right. But I, I support what Leno's doing here. This is a good loop for what you have available. You don't know where your beam is, but you know you can get a lot of checks in Lower Torvus. You can clear out Lower Dark Torvus most of the way. And you can get the elevator to Vault Side Sank, which sets you up straight for another artifact. And it does help that we're able to get... We, the only thing we can't do here is Dungeon, uh, since that requires Light Suit. But otherwise, we can toss the whole place. And the real power play are those, uh, the Emerald Tint, uh, which just revealed that Dark Beam is in Storage C. Well, good night, Beh everyone. <laughs> behind, I would like to point out, that is behind the Super Missiles that we could have had for 50 minutes. <laughs> You sound very, very happy about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it's it's not even it's just the fact that because of how the logic played out, um, because of where the item placement played out, that this is unfortunately a rather common occurrence. Oh, oh, yeah, there's the spider ball, too. Um, it's a very common occurrence where the mid game areas like the super missile locked areas, you're not going to go back for right away because they're one offs and super yeah. missiles are a little late to the bandwagon right now. So. But yeah, that should clue Leno in that Dark Beam is just chilling in storage uh, C right now. Yeah, but here's where the problem lays, Captain. Storage C is so far out of the way just from any any elevator they try to take. It is out of the way, but the reason Leno hasn't immediately turned around to go for it now is I believe this is a play to try and find the Chicka Key hint, because if that's also in Echoes, then Leno could practically go get it, and this should be seed solved. So this is actually a very good look for fail guys right now. Uh, never mind. I think that might just be it in Transit Tunnel South. Where's the Chica Key? Well, you know what, chat? We're about to tell you. 
But instead of telling you, how about we show you? Yep, there it is, Transit Tunnel South. So Leno just happened to have that key fall on his lap, and that is actually, I think, uh, that I think is uh, seed solved. Well, there's nothing they can't get now. Uh, so yeah. See. Prime, you need Sentinel's Path, Cursed Lake, Furnace, Hall of Honor, Dead, Magma Pool, Sun Chamber, Dark Torvus Temple, and the Judgment Pit. All of those can be achieved right now. Yeah, and, and for... All right, so now Samuel is going back for Schwartz's cannonball. Well, it's like Schwartz is getting ready to go fight Chica then. Yeah, I don't think Schwartz has picked up the last... Um, he has not. ...key yet, but definitely is going to go to Lower Torvus next, which is going to give the Dark Beam hint. Yeah, I will say time and time again, the Lower Torvus hints are very commonly the most powerful hints in the game in my experience. Just because they tend to be the ones that hint your go mode item. They certain, uh, I remember a similar case um, in one of my earlier tournaments where we had, um, not CGC specifically, but it was a specifically that gathering hall hint, no less, that pointed me to go mode. So yeah, I think Leno is, the The nice thing is, Leno doesn't need Dark Beam right now, so technically can just wait out on picking it up until going to Mining Station B for the last artifact. Well, that, or I'm not sure why he's not doing Sheikah right now that he's got all of his keys. Probably, ooh, that's a good question. He's get it out of the way now so you don't have to come back and fight him. I am. I understand what Rowdy's taking, but I'm confused on why he's leaving Corvus Temple out. Probably because it's easy to save warp out of is the only thing I could think of. I, I somewhat agree, but I, it just doesn't. I can't think. Of, I, I can't see how it works. I could be wrong. I usually am. Because the problem with Chica right this minute is that after that, you have to now go all the way back around and out to go get the rest of your stuff. And you still don't have Dark Beam. So you have to, well, you don't have to take the long way back to the portal, but. Well, I fair you have to take a little little bit of a trek back to a Forgotten Bridge. Yeah, I can see waiting this out until you finish at least the Sank Loop. All right, yeah, now, now I'm starting to get convinced. Because after Vault especially, if that's the last key you have in Sanctuary, you could just turn right around, go down um, Cat West, and you'll be right back in Lower Torvus, and you can head back to... Or, I think I know how Leno's routing this. Where do you Leno's going to Leno's gonna get Vault, go to the Sank Spider Elevator, because that still doesn't need Dark Beam, uh, go to Aegon, get Dark Beam, get Mining Station B, and then take that elevator uh take the portal terminal elevator to torvis which will put him relatively close to shake at least i think that's the play here that's a good loop i like it because at this right. point because at this point fail guys are in cleanup now they're just looking for they're just going to get their stuff and now and then that's going to be gg now granted schwartz is about to uh, fall into a the last torvis key and b the um Dark beam oh, you know what else is? Leno's looking for Shy Guy's phase on suit. Oh, but it's not in his game. He doesn't know that. Right. And unfortunately, with an artifact being on Chica, uh, Shy Guy's not going to get that hint for a long time. Oh, Ooh. that's, that's going to put... I could put Ultimate Hope ahead. Yeah, because Ultimate Hope, having that already, they just don't have to go hunting for it later. Yeah, this... Yeah, I got to give uh, Fail Guys credit because they definitely, as far as the rest of the items, they definitely routed the um, the seed a lot better. Um, but unfortunately, based on just phase on suit alone, this may still end up being uh, Ultimate Hope's race. Because, yeah, that hint right there just told Schwartz where phase on, uh, not phase on suit, Dark Beam is. I don't think he's happy with it. I don't think so either because that's locked behind the same, same, uh, 
super missiles check that uh, he yeah. orphaned for the last 50 minutes. Yeah, he's not happy. <laughs> All right, Schwartz being very careful not to accidentally use that cannon. But yeah, I can't I can't see a world right now where Shy Guy goes back to Arbor Chamber just to check it at this stage. Although granted, Shy Guy's running out of excuse me, Shy Guy's almost done with Prime. Like Prime's game is almost full cleared. So I feel like it's only a matter of time at the same moment. So Um we'll see. This this is this is a little tough to call right now. I think it depends on how much tra how much uh going off the path leno does in order to try and help find the phase on suit almost bonked off the uh the turn style there mm. well i think we'll see what when it comes down to the final play yeah once all the keys are located once they start running out of checks and they locate their final items Okay, and Schwartz did also get the last tour of his key, so that should also put them in um, in uh, the ability to clean up their seed. Yeah, because for Prime, yeah, Prime's not looking for anything beyond this point. Uh, does Schwartz not know about Prime Boost Chat Ass? That hint was in Temple Grounds near uh, near Sky Temple Key hints, so I do believe, and I believe uh, Schwartz was actually the first to discover that. So I do believe um, they're aware of it, and I think Schwartz is going to just grab it on the way to Chica. Well, meanwhile, we've got another Flogger fight over Shy Guy. You can just jump straight to the gate from the Spider Track and not have to do the Instant Morph. Thank you, Leno, for telling me that I've been doing this the hard way for way too darn long. I need to stop watching these streams because now I just feel like my movement training is for nothing. I have had so many issues with this dang puzzle. Oh, hey, look at that. A super There's missile hit. <laughs> <laughs> you That's... know what's funny? That's, What's that? There's basically no way you can get to that <laughs> without <laughs> without uh, super missiles. Hey, you want a super missile hit here? Use the super missile to get that in. Because you either need super missiles to get to Lower Torvis or Dark Beam locked by super missiles to go around Sanctuary. Thanks, game. Thanks a bunch. Unbelievable. All right, just another double check of Shy Guy's hints, double checking. So yeah, the remaining obligations to um, Metroid here. So yeah, Metroid's got to hang tight for a while here because uh, the only remaining uh, artifact available is Upper Furnace. And at this point, I think otherwise Shy Guy's completed all of uh, the obligations to Leno. How many keys does Leno have? It looks like six. Yes, too many. So yeah, now Leno is going back to Torvis. This looks like it's going to be the play to Chica. So yeah, Shy Guy, the nice thing about Shy Guy effectively waiting on two artifacts is that there is time. And I think that's why Leno turned around to go to Torvis is because it gives uh, Shy Guy the ability to fight Ridley for the phase on suit hint. Now granted, because it's in Arbor Chamber, it's not going to be far away. So when um, when Shy Guy reads the hint and sees, oh, it's just chilling in Talon, either he's going to panic because he thinks Life Grove or just go to Arbor Chamber. 
Because I don't think Shy Guy did Life Grove. So yeah, we're in a we're in a very strange scenario here. Well, speaking of strange, once again, Sam has decided to go out of bounds. I think this is Sam just chilling, waiting for the last artifact. Sam's waiting for it, yeah, because both of Sam's remaining artifacts, I believe, are obligated by Schwartz. Well, one is guaranteed, the other one... Where I... uh, it would be the Dark Torvis Temple and... Trying to think real quick. Uh, did he do Sentinel's Path yet? Uh, I think he did. I think so. Um, I would, but... And he did a Cursed Lake, Judgment Pit. I, I think Dark Torvis Temple is the only one he's stuck waiting on. Uh, I only see seven artifacts in Sam's inventory, though, so there's definitely, there is another one missing somewhere. All right, what about, uh, do we do Furnace yet on Sam's side? Um, I think so, because it was uh, Lower Furnace. Uh, what about Magma Pool? That's, um, I don't think so. I thought, I think we saw that as well. Yeah, Sun Chamber, we know we've already completed. And yeah, you're about to see why Unlimited BMMO absolutely wrecks this fight. I'm going to go ahead and give you Schwartz's audio here once it finally converts. There we go. Yep, pure unmitigated Annihilator spam. I know, chat. We're sorry. We're, we withheld the Chica music from you. I'm sorry. But you know what? Because of that, we're going to give you two Chica fights at the same time, huh? Are we friends again? Oh, yeah. I'm just now noticing uh, the uh, tournament winners. Uh, you just saw there. Samuel went ahead and scrolled past those for a bit. I know we're not friends, chat, but we can still pretend to be. And a two-cycle Chica Larva. Beautiful. Yeah, that's about as good as you can get without double damage in this condition. Yeah, and here's why Cannonball is so useful that we were discussing earlier. First you see adult, now you see the artifact. <laughs> and Ivy, I don't think so at all. I'll talk with you on that, on that later. We will discuss that in private chat. Now, Sam's gonna... Okay, I think Sam just realized that there's a missing artifact somewhere. In his game, most likely. Yeah, it might actually... Oh, that could be a problem if it's in Sam's game. I, I get a strong feeling it's Magma Pool. I it, don't know why, but I'm feeling it. Yeah, Magma Pool, unfortunately, might be the case. But yeah, you're seeing Leno use just unlimited beam ammo, and yeah, this just... It makes the fight a non, a non difficult, but it is still a pain in the backside. Yeah. So here you can see the regular... Standard Chica adult fight on your left. No cannonball due to that reset in Sky Temple grounds. So light beam seeker missiles. It's our best option for maximum efficiency. Yeah, I'm just trying to think where uh was Portal Chamber a Sky Temple key? No, it wasn't. Not that I have written down, no. Uh, Sky Temple Key, you got Watch Station, Trent Station, Forgotten Bridge, Main Quarry, Sank Vault, MSB. Vault, that's it. I think Vault's the artifact that, um... Oh no, Vault was a... I think Vault's an SDK. Okay, yeah, it's an SDK. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm at, a, I'm at a loss of which artifact Sam's missing here. Oh no, Sam just went... What, what is Sam doing? I think he's just having a good time. This is beautiful to watch. 
You've heard of NASCAR. Now have Metroid Prime Pinball 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. I see chat saying Sam going full <laughs> night Artorias. I actually understand that reference. <laughs> Great, because I don't. It's a it's a Dark Souls uh, boss. Oh, that's what... I'll talk to uh, I'll talk to Reese on that later. Then. Now it immediately reminded me of Pinball. I wouldn't mind having a sequel to Prime Pinball. I wouldn't either. This would be a great way of showing it. So you know how fast that ball moves around the court. And now I've got an idea for Metroid Prime Tennis for some reason. I it can't see work. that. No, it doesn't work. That's a problem. But I like the thought of it. <laughs> All right, All so... Right. Shy Guy has actually already gotten life growth um, at this point, so now it should be only a matter of time before uh, the turnaround for Arbor Chamber. So I'm hoping that this... Um... Oh, wait, no, no. Um, Leno picked up Shy Guy's boost, so... <laughs> oh, Schwartz having a heck of a time with that underwater seeker lock over in uh, main hydro chamber. Uh, oh, was it the transit station key that Schwartz uh, didn't get? What? I'm trying. I'm just. I'm still at a loss for the the artifact that Sam's missing. I said Sentinel's path. He did right. Uh, I think so. Or echoes. And a, a cursed lake. We saw. We, did we see a cursed lake get picked up? Um, I think Schwartz checked it way earlier. Yeah. All right. Then you have lower furnace, a hall of honor dead, which we already saw. I definitely remember both runners going to get that. Sun Chamber, we, Flag was dead. Yeah, we Peak saw both runners do that. J uh, Jump Guardian's dead. The only thing left is Magma Pool. That's, I don't... I guess so. I'm... I, I'm at a loss. I'm, I don't know. Unless he's waiting to finish at the same time with Schwartz? Which is actually not what you want to do, because um, the way that uh, times are calculated for scores is that the times are added together for both runners. So the total combined time ends up being the finish. So if both runners oh. say get two hours on the nose, then their final oh. time is four hours. Yeah, but Schwartz is making his way back to back to Sank. Okay, so it might have been- possible Sentinel's Path was never got? I think it was Sentinel's Path. Cause I don't, I only remember seeing Sentinel's Path being done by Leno. Oh, uh, well, that's- well, it sends those paths isn't too far away. It's not. Um, but Sam just oh. reset, though. Oh, wait a minute. It might have been Magma Pool. I, see, I told you I had a bad feeling about Magma Pool. Why? No one listens to Marion. No, you're, you're right. You're right. <laughs> That's a first. Marion being right. Oh, my God. I should have that written down. Could you send that? Can you fax that to me in writing? I cannot. I'm not familiar with fax machines. <laughs> well, just do it by email. I think I've only ever faxed, sent a fax to somebody like once or twice in my life, and it was in high school. What are you doing with a fax machine in high school? Uh, high school was like 10 years ago, to be fair. A little more than that, actually. Well. Um, okay, so no, it doesn't look like Sam's going back for anything. It looks like Sam's just chilling, still chilling. So yeah, I guess it was... Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm at a loss. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Shy Guy's going for Arbor Chamber, so he's about to get uh, Phase on Suit. Da, 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 da. There you go. Your Phase on Suit. Congratulations. Uh, now go beat your game. Yeah, actually, Shy Guy can go beat the game. Because uh, I believe uh, Shy Guy's packing all nine artifacts. Because Leno's only going for Dark Beam and Mining Station B at this point, right? Yeah. So that's all That's all on his end. So yeah. I. Oh, no, wait a minute. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Shy guy's going for landing site now. So yeah, that's uh that's go mode. It doesn't look like Schwartz is moving towards Sentinel's path at any time though. I'm in the wrong direction for that, so what is he th I'm genuinely confused what Ultimate Hope's trying to think of here. Uh same here. But um I mean I'm sure we'll figure it out in a minute, but um Well, you can just watch uh, Sam spin in the ball then and teleport. In the meantime, I'll give y'all angry dragon noises. Go on. We're sitting here waiting. Go on now. Oh, I was gonna. I was talking from Bridley. Oh, come on. All right, that's fair. Why is uh, Chad trying to find my schleg? Uh, what, uh, chat, please help me with your English. Oh, did Schwartz not go back to oh, the Hall of Honor? No. Um, maybe. I could have thought oh, you know what? did that. Shy Guy's waiting on the Mining Station B artifact, because that's... Yeah, Mining Station B is not a Sky Temple key. It's an artifact. So Leno's going to get that. That's the. Did that's, I write, um, that, did I write that's, that backwards? That's what, that's what both runners are waiting on, the Mining Station B artifact. I wrote that backwards then. I thought that was an STK. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it is. I'm. Well, what the flip? Oh, wait, no. MSB is a STK. I could have sworn it was. I thought I read that properly. Don't make me second guess myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just confused as to why. Um, I'm just confused as to what, what we're, we're missing on here. Five, six, seven. How many artifacts are in this pool? Nine. It should be I, nine. I'm missing one. I don't. I have eight written down. Uh, because the first one was an artifact temple. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. All right. Now my notes are up to date. Wait. Didn't one runner Reese? No, no, no. I'm thinking of last night. My bad. Sorry. Sea bleed. Did Leno do jump guardian? Uh, I would think okay. so because he did, yes, Leno seen it. and even if even if Leno hadn't before, uh, he would have had a great excuse to do so, passing through after doomed entry. So I think it's best we ask both runners what the bleep is going on. No, well, obviously we can't do this. that in the middle of the. Well, yeah, I was about not, to say not obviously in not in the middle of the race. Oh, no, but well, now Sam's on the other side of the door. Congratulations. Oh, Schwartz looks like Schwartz is heading straight for his dark beam, though. Yeah, Schwartz is heading for dark beam. Leno's going for away to temple grounds. I'm wondering if, yeah, I, I'm confused as to. I'm wondering if the runners are confused as to needing to finish at the same time or what, because that obviously isn't the case. Um, I, I'm more or less hypnotized what Sam's doing. That that's just beautiful to look at. Look at that glowing spinning ball of death. Yeah, just some, just your usual out of bounds boost ball shenanigans. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. You got yeah. the gold on the orange, with the layers. I mean, it's. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm really just not, I'm really just very confused as to what's going on here and what we're still waiting on from both sides. Oh, Leno's going for a curse lake. That's actually a really, it, it has to be a curse lake for Leno. Because, yeah, I don't think Leno's ever been to this area yet. Or at least hasn't gone to... Yeah, because I think Schwartz did a secret list for Dark Oasis, right? Yes. He did? Not uh, Dark, not Oasis? Dark Oasis. Did? Sorry, a Dark curse Oasis lake. have a secret lock on it. Not Dark Oasis, a curse lake. Yes, he did do the secret lock, secret list for it. Yeah, that's... Okay, so Leno was waiting on a curse... Leno was going for a curse lake. Unfortunately, it was just routed on polar opposite ends of the universe. Okay, so... We understand what Fall Guys is doing, though. That makes sense. You missed the artifact in the Cursed Lake, but he's right next to Sky Temple Gateway, so it's a quick, quick way for both of them. Leave it for the end. That makes sense. What is Ultimate Hope doing? I have no idea. Unless 
Oh, Audraxus makes a good point. He doesn't have Dark Beam. Is that why he doesn't go to Sentinel's Path? He uh, go in the back door? Is Schwartz forgetting the back entrance through through Watch Station? Yeah, the back entrance, you don't need Dark Beam. It's a long walk because you have to go through Lower Torvis, but you can do it. All questions for the interview. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, in the meantime, you get the, the Torvis, not Torvis, Temple Grounds beat. I think that's what I'm thinking of. This big old upbeat song. Better idea. Angry dragon noises. <laughs> I really like this this uh, updated theme for, for Ridley. That has got to be one of the funniest. It's, that's a pretty funny spot for Dark Beam. And again, we're only in day three of this tournament. Although, Shy Guy got an amazing boost off of Ridley, though. Indeed, and again, Boost Ball does 50,000 damage to Flying Ridley. We don't know why it, just because <laughs> Echo, because Prime. Because Echoes is a great reason. <laughs> I mean, you might as well. Because Echoes is still a perfectly valid excuse as well. Yes, because this game released later and was the sequel to the original, that's why the first game has all these weird coincidences. Sure. Also, Ridley would just not stop charging. Well, at least he's staying on the ground and not going in the air again. Yeah, this is some lousy RNG for Shy Guy. Yeah, but he's over in no time. Oh yeah, cutscene skips, yeah. Um, so that is a bit, that is uh, version 7.0 of the randomizer enabled that. 7.1 also enabled some quality of life upgrades for Prime, including moving some loading triggers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, like making a few adjustments to uh, some, some of the corridors to be a little less, a little more cooperative. Um, for specific, specific, for specifics of those changes, you can, of course, go on the uh, Randovania GitHub and look at the version 7.1 release notes. All right. I am very concerned. Why is... Why are we prioritizing Mining Station B and Sam still standing around? Because Schwartz still has to go, I would assume, go back for Sentinel's Path. I could have sworn I saw him do it. I must have been thinking of Leno then. On the off chance they're doing this together, but you said the sum of both totals was the final. Yeah. So I don't think that's it. Um, I think it's I think it's just the way that they're choosing to route uh, route this one. But yeah, this this race definitely was flipping a couple of times. Let's be honest. This has been a pretty solid race. Oh, absolutely. It's been nonstop from the very beginning. Although I'm wondering, like, I I wonder how much faster of a seed this could have been. Because on the one end, because Echoes has had very little to do, they weren't led astray by those super missiles and dark beam. Because super missiles and dark beam were effectively go mode. So I wonder, ooh, Leno somehow got hit by the uh, stun beam there or got knocked back by something else. Well, Good. Uh, to answer your question, Chad, looks like Sentinel's Path is the final one we're missing on Hope's side. Going straight for, going straight for, uh, what you call it, sanct Sanctuary. But with that, it looks like, well, well, Captain, it looks like Fall Guy is going to finish relatively at the same time, though. Indeed. So, uh, Shy Guy a little bit behind Leno because Echo's final bosses are generally just a little faster because of how many cheese strats there are. They are so broken. Because yeah. you have Exo Skip for Prime, but that trick is so stupidly, ridiculously hard. Yeah, pretty much the only. The main thing 
Exoskip can really help you with is if Ice Beam is late to the bandwagon. Because that can, you could potentially skip a beam here or two if you're really, really lucky. Right. Yeet. So, so Captain, as far as our timing for, the, for this race goes, is there any negative effects for finishing both games at the same same time relatively? Not particularly. The only, but it, it is a good practice to, it is a good practice to get into um, once you are absolutely positive that your partner has completed their obligations to, to you and that they can beat their seed is to try and have one person finish first because then your time's not, your overall time's not ticking up twice as fast. All right, that's fair. I can see that reasoning. And Sam decided to reset again because he had enough fun. Having a fun time with those puzzles, aren't you, Schwartz? Yeah, unfortunately, again, we're on old patcher, so we don't have the randomized gyro puzzles or echo locks. I, I feel bad for Schwartz, though. He could have, he could have had this a long time ago, back when he first made a loop for, uh, for Watch Station. Just yeah, Watch Station connects straight to Sentinel's path with Annihilator Beam. Indeed, and it goes back to what I was saying earlier, how uh, Leno's knowledge of being able to uh, work around not having Dark Beam definitely played to Fail Guys' advantage here. Well, Len, isn't he going straight for Watch Station now? Schwartz is going for Watch Station, yes, but... Um... Ultimately ended up going through Dynamo Works, which requires Dark Beam. All right, oh, looks like that's where he's getting it from. Okay. All right, I think Leno is uh, amazingly not gotten centered yet. Could track Dark Samus very easily with Dark Beam here. Uh, Dark Visor, rather. Is trying to go for Screw Attack now because Dark Samus is throwing up her shield. Um. Hmm. Oh, there's the center. But yeah, Dark Visor, after you hit Dark Samus in her past her phase three threshold, uh, pulling out Dark Visor does let you see, uh, does let you see her. Well, now that Sam has his final artifact, it's making a beeline straight for artifact temple. Yeah, Schwartz in the meantime is still also missing two Sky Temple keys. Uh, Which I'm not sure where they even are at this point. Uh, let me pull up the notes that we have. Uh, did he do what? Well, he's in Watch Station, so he's about to get that one. Watch Station and Vault. Yeah. So they're both right here. Yeah, right next to each other. And Sam is having fun with Boost Ball shenanigans. All right. One more hit and Leno should be finished here. Get ready on that timer. Almost. Almost. And that's time. Two hours, one minute, 35 seconds. GG, well, Leno, you... well done. Congratulations. Now you just gotta wait for Shy Guy to finish. Shy Guy's almost there. We're on the final half of the fight. Indeed. And how much you want to bet Sam's going to go straight for Exoskip? It is a pretty solid bet. Yeah. Especially now that they've already seen a dot done, given the circumstance, and they're both in go mode. Uh, we could see an Exoskip here from Sam. And now, that being said, barring any disasters, uh, I do think Shy Guy is still going to take this one. 
uh, as far as between the race between um, them and Sam. Oh, yeah. Even with Exoskip, Shy, Shy Guy's still way out in the lead. And yeah, we are seeing an attempted Exoskip here. I'm, I'm not even going to try to explain Exoskip just due to the complexity of it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's I, I definitely am not well versed in how it works. All I the, the, the general idea of is that you lure this particular fission Metroid, which for some reason is not vulnerable to doors for a change. Um, and getting knocked around by the Metroid in specifically in that corridor, <laughs> the way it is, just casually tosses you out of bounds. That, thanks for the help, chat. Explanation, it skips EXO. Well, I never would have guessed with EXO skip that it skipped EXO. That is an amazing theory. Uh, okay, you know what? All right, we are seeing Shy Guy just about wrapping up, getting the pool uh, cancels here for the um, final attack. Because yeah, what uh, Shy Guy's doing here by entering and exiting the pool only firing one shot is it does preserve the pool's uh, duration for a little bit. And that should do it. That is going to That's be time. a time and a GG's. Oh, he was so close to a 204. <laughs> 203.59. You could have waited one more second. So that should put their final overall times at 4.05.34. Uh, let me get a calculator out. So yeah, fail guys take it um, for their first round in the group stage. Well done. Hey, I'm coming up with... Uh... Oh, because the 95, 94 is going to be translated. So four hours, four minutes, no, five minutes. So, and we are joined by Lenefus and Met Shy Guy from uh, Fail Guys. Congratulations to the both of you. GG. Good game, Leno. Thank you. Um, so I think I'll just start out by saying I felt like my routing, my routing in particular, was really, really strong. Like, I, it kind of felt like everything just kind of fell into place. There was a few missteps in Aegon, but I really, really liked how I routed this. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, certainly... Um, for one thing, both you and Schwartz, Leno, <laughs> basically last location super missiles. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I, I mean, getting the hint in Lower Torvus was nice, because then I could just, okay, I know what I have to do now. <laughs> yeah, until then, Dark Beam was basically unhinted. And uh, for you, Shy Guy, uh, very luckily, because you still had some time while Leno was picking up artifacts, you were able to go retrieve Phase on suit in Arbor Chamber. Yeah, we were, I was... <laughs> Trying to, you know, pick up some extra items while I waited for the last key to get the phase on suit hint. And then I remembered I didn't get the uh, Arbor Chamber because I missed the Gandash the second time I went through. So, because I, I, I know you can do Arbor Chamber without uh, bombs, but I have not learned that yet. So I still need bombs to do the out of bounds trick on that. Understandable. By the way, shout outs to. Um... Shoutouts to I forgot what I was gonna shout out because there were a couple there were a couple of bits of trash in this seat in particular. Not not even just Chica Required, because I wouldn't even say Chica Required was that bad since you had at least unlimited beam ammo, which I would argue is probably the best upgrade for it, if not mm -hmm. cannonball. Yeah, it was kind of a shame to lose that cannonball when I did. But the decision so we I knew that there was a major upgrade into file train. Like, like as soon as I got the annihilator, like, okay. I, I will voluntarily give up Cannonball because I basically needed everything else in the game anyway. Right. And I knew, and I knew there was a major there for me. So I scanned the hint. It's a Morph Ball related upgrade. So I knew it's a Spider Ball or a Boost Ball. So I'll check hints. On the side, check that. See what it is. It turns out to be Boost Ball. That's kind of the worst of the two items. I would prefer a Spider Ball to be there because then I could just pick it up on my way to finish the game. And then the SDK is like, okay, well, I need Vault, so I know I need Boost Ball. Uh, Mining Station B, I know I need Dark Beam at some point. 
So I have to come back for Defiled Shrine, which I didn't really like, but it ended up working out. Indeed. Unfortunately, Schwartz also did not... Um, Schwartz did not seem to... Um, Schwartz did, uh, picked up Dark Beam before getting the Sentinel's Path and um, Vault Keys. Uh, basically, everything in Vault Side sank. Um, Leno, you had decided to make that uh, trek over to Vault Side sank without Dark Beam, and I think that's what actually gave the both of you a pretty big time advantage here. Nice. <clears throat> um, is being able to hold off on that Dark Beam until Mining Station B. Yep. Yeah, I knew that uh, with Echo Visor, I, I know there's a way up, and I don't have to do extra dumb routing trademarked. <laughs> I can just do kind of dumb, kind of dumb routing. I love how you trademarked it. Okay. Yep. I'll, well, I'll have to look yep. into that later. Yeah. No, no Leno definitely saved us because uh, my, I know enough tricks to halfway do stuff, but not completely do stuff. So like missing grapple, nor in most cases in a, isn't a problem, but in some cases it is. Uh, missing boost ball in a lot of cases, like I don't need boost ball for a lot of things, but there's still mm -hmm. some. And then spider ball. I can do some, and then the rest I can't can't do. So, I I was kind of in spots where I was you know partially diving into areas and resetting back out because I needed to make the checks, but I couldn't fully do what I needed to do. And again, observatory dash wasn't working for me today, so that was wonderful. I just want to point out, Chet's clip already has a name for your routing. <laughs> Thanks, Gaz. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kazuto. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to, for the Prime side at the very least, having a virtually vanilla first two minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, nice vanilla space trip you found there on Alcove. Yep. Vanilla Although space I think, jump. I think Sam really appreciated having space jump this seed. Yes. I'm assuming he didn't miss it this time. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for Sa uh, Salmon yesterday. That was... If you haven't seen it yet, chat, go back and watch it. You will see a clinic of how to play this game, NSJ. <laughs> yes. I did hear a bit about that, yeah. Yeah, this is this has been an interesting opening to the tournament, I will say that much. We've only been going for a couple of days at this point. Yeah. Some things I'm noticing about this version, at least mm -hmm. that appear to be happening somewhat more, so... We'll, we'll see if that good. continues, or if I'm just seeing things for no reason. That's a good thing to point out. Um, how was, uh, how'd you feel about your ice beam location? I, so I was really excited about that. Like, I, I felt that, that w that's a stupid location. It's a slow one-off check. So if they fought Flogger or whatever, got various who, I, I felt like the ice beam would have given me a solid advantage. And then I just found Varia behind ice beam. I was like, well, fuck. They're going to get this immediately because they have to. Okay. Your logical BK route with Barry locked behind your ice and your lo ice was technically locked behind boost ball. Yeah, I think the yeah. logical path here was that after Annihilator, Echoes was supposed to get super missiles mm -hmm. uh, so that they could get to Torves and get... Because uh, in order to get Ice Beam in logic, you needed super missile, uh, prime supers and... Um, Prime Boost Ball. To get Prime Boost Ball, you needed to go to uh, Echoes needed to go to Venomous Pond, so they yep. couldn't do that until Super Missiles showed up. Yep. Um, which, which was a silly uh, kind of sort of point in a return in Doomed Entry. I mean, you're mm -hmm. already gonna have, you're you are already going to have Light Beam, so it wasn't going to be the worst. But that's a really bad check to point in a return yourself in if you only have Light Beam. Like, ugh, that's and that's why I put it off <laughs> for as long as I did. Yeah, you you both put it off. To be fair, Schwartz was not happy about uh, about super <laughs> missiles in um, no. about no. super missiles in um, Doom Entry, and was even less excited about the hint for um, Dark Beam in Storage C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did Sam? Yeah, it looks like uh, looking at Sam's tracker. Sam did get the supers. Okay. Yes. Um... See, I, I thought I saw him when I was picking up that last key at a cruise leg, and I asked him, do you want these supers? He's like, nope, I'm good. Go without. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured it would take more time than it would save. All right, we're seeing Schwartz do the uh, Dark Samus 4 skip with Dark Beam, and yeah, this is personally my preferred method just because if you try using Screw Attack, you might just get centered immediately, but at least with the Dark Beam strat, you have a chance to let the shield come up. <laughs> 
but that's yeah. going to do it. 212.35 with a 209.25. GG's! Uh, 209. Oh, GG's. That is going to be two, uh, 422 on the nose. They, they uh, excuse me. That one. Yeah, yeah, 422 on the nose. But yeah, that that does give fail guys the their um their win for today. And we will see if we can get the folks from Ultimate Hope in for an interview. Yeah, that's another thing that happened when I got centered. Uh, I noticed my missile count as I started the fight, and that's the second seed in a row where I walked in with about 10 missiles. Like, well, crap. Uh, <laughs> I got one super's worth, maybe. If I can't get uh, DS4 skip, I'm going to have to resort to centered and bad beam combo. Oh, my. Also, anti shout out to Alpha Blood for holding the light suit. Oh my! Oh, that's yeah, where light suit was chilling at. <laughs> I called it. I knew. See, Alpha Blood always has something nice. Oh, you're I not. Cannot you're not wrong. <laughs> you're if not it's wrong. Alpha Blog, it's never nice. <laughs> well, maybe not for you. <laughs> uh, although, to be fair, historically, Alpha Blog has been pretty a pretty common area for major items. To oh, be Alpha fair, blog is, mm -hmm. I love Blog. Yeah, it's great when if I mean, granted I can't do this at all. It's great if you could somehow get the horizontal air underwater coming out of hydro chamber storage. Yeah. That being said, um, I'm trying to see if we can get the folks from uh, Ultimate Hope in for an interview. I would understand if they were just a little bit tilted. Uh, Cestrion in the race chat, uh, shout out to Cestrion, like. Good luck, have fun, blame me for this. And I'm like, well, I mean... It I'm pretty wasn't... sure we already do blame you. <laughs> you. You know, honestly, besides the point of no return supers and semi-jerk move dark place, dark beam placement after that, I feel like this seed was relatively benign. Yeah. There like, by... A whole lot. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot that was terrible. Yeah, yeah the, like Echo Sky, the Echo Sky Temple keys in particular were pretty much free. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is that the Chicka Keys basically fell on your lap and travel. Yeah. With the one exception. We were worried about the one in uh, Mining Station B, because that could have been a Chicka Key. Because yeah. at the time, I did not have the Torvus Key hint. Did Torvus ever find that, by the way? The Torvus Key hint? Yes, that yeah. key hint was in Lower Torvus. It was either Lower Torvus. Oh, no, it was in Sank. The key hint? Okay. The key yeah, hint was in Main Research. Oh. oh, I went, okay, and uh, yeah, I already went by that. Yep, okay. All right, well, Samuel and Schwartz, welcome to the booth. GG's to the both of you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, man, GG's. It was a wonky seed, <laughs> to yes. be honest. That's a great word to describe it. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we saw Schwartz. You were uh, not too happy about finding those super missiles. The entire second half of the seed, I had nothing good to say about it, man. Yeah. I, uh, I routed all of the SCKs very poorly. I didn't realize that I couldn't get Sentinel's Path without Dark Beam because I had an open watch station. And uh, it well, was annoying. With Echo Visor, you could have gone through Lower Torvis to go up the, um, the, the Dark High Barrier Transport west to Dark... Oh, to open yeah, the... Because of opening because the, the gate. The watch station is closed, yeah. You could have also gone through the uh, portal at uh, Vault Attacks, not Vault Attacks, like Grand Abyss, Dark Grand Abyss. Oh, that's, that's interesting. About that. Well, yeah. I never thought about that. That's, yeah, you can do that. I forgot about that. Well, that's all right. I mean, in the end, as long as you had fun. <laughs> that's not the right word to use. Right? Did we have fun? I didn't well, have fun. I I had fun near the end, as you can tell. <laughs> we did see that, yeah. Yeah, we were saying earlier that as far as, like, logic was concerned, the only kind of weird one was the uh, logic for Ice Beam to various suit. It wasn't that it was weird, it's just it had a few steps. What had to happen was that after Echoes went to Culling Chamber uh, for Annihilator, they had to go grab 
super missiles so that they can go get uh, a prime boost in Venomous Pond. Yeah. Uh, Because that was your way into Torvis. Well, oh, you could have also gone back for Dark Beam and then go to Torvis that way. So point being, either way, you had to go get super missiles first and then go get prime boost. Yeah, but who checks storage C after Doomed Entry? That is... Nope. <laughs> Nope. No one. <laughs> That's, nope. To be yeah. to be fair, given that, and that this is very typical that mid to late game super missiles tend to result in an orphan storage C, and unfortunately, at least yeah. in my experience, and we've seen that today too, it just ends up being progression anyway. Man, yep. Well, I was trying to find spider ball for the so time. The yeah, Echo Spider was also pretty late to the bandwagon too, although. Uh, Farf and Drana, let me tell you, that was a that was a pretty loaded today. Seekers and uh, Echo Visor. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm glad I went yeah. back for that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the, the Echo Visor was in a particular. weird location. Yeah, Plasma. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about Plasma, but but getting the Echo Visor, mm -hmm. I was actually hoping that would be a little bit of a of an advantage, just because Farf and Drana is kind of dumb in some <laughs> cases. So I was hoping that. Going back there, getting that would have given us a little something since we needed it. I was forced to isolate Storage Cave because I went through the loop before getting Plasma. Uh, but I eventually got it after I got Plasma PPC. I'm like, oop, I can go get that now. And especially because the Seekers were there. Yeah, Both I, I... Plasma lock checks and Farfen were Echo's majors. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, I. I saw the Seekers, because uh, I went to, because I couldn't do Observatory Dash, so I just went through uh, labs backwards. So I saw Seekers, so I didn't want to go back there until I had Plasma. So then I dive, eventually dive down into Mind Spectre. I'm like, oh, well, Plasma, I'm getting your Seekers. I'll just check this out. <laughs> yeah, you'll yeah. have to. Thankfully, the Seekers weren't really that useful f uh, for most of the seed, at least in our side. Yeah. Uh, it ended up being the case on our side, too. Seekers were more of a convenience item at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it led me to getting the echoes, so I'm glad they were just sitting there <laughs> in invis invisible path, right? Right on the way. Well, Otherwise, I might have just orphaned the back of Hendrana for a while. Yeah. It's good to go back for that. Orphaning check's bad. Yeah. It didn't didn't it help was... your light suit was just deleted. Yeah, I, I was wondering what I was. Alpha blog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that would have been... Yeah, yeah it, very fortunately, Light Suit wasn't required today. I was so worried about that Dark Beam just hiding the Phazon Suit, because how much of that game is just locked up because the Dark Beam, which ended up being the Go Mode item. But, like, yeah. I thought I was going to have to go around half the world again just to look for that stupid suit. The, <laughs> the last time I've personally had a Dark Beam Go Mode, Dark Beam was in Reactor Core. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. So, you saying that you were worried about that phase on suit, does that mean that MST didn't get, get the Arbor Chamber out of bounds? No. <laughs> so, I, when oh. I first went through, I, I got got the scan dash. I normally don't have an issue with that scan dash, but I was practicing yesterday, and I failed it like 35 times, and I was like, you know what, I'm done with this. <laughs> I got it first time today. I got the first item, um, but I don't do, I don't, I don't know the method for doing it without bombs yet. Uh, so I didn't have bombs yeah. at that time, so I got the nothing fell down. I tried it again later uh, when I had bombs, but I didn't get the dash, so I just left it. Ooh, and, and then behold, sort of at the end, mm -hmm. I I was like, well, I'm waiting on this one yeah. thing. I know there's a check here. I must. So we were on the it. complete opposite side of the spectrum with that. <laughs> yeah. You and your out of bounds movement, Sam. <laughs> you just got to settle a down. Bit out of <laughs> so a little, little bit. Okay, that's an understatement. <laughs> We saw we saw a good amount of out of bounds because you both did both echoes players you both did out of bounds sky temple. Oh, you did uh, too to no. get hints. Yeah. Did you have dark visor at that time, and did you get to foul shrine? I did. Nice. And then knowing it was boost ball, having my hints, I just decided to reset it and then just come back for it whenever I get supers. <clears throat> yeah, which ended that... up being just a couple minutes right after I reset too, <laughs> not that long after I reset. Yeah, it's funny because. That... Yeah, I ended up trying to keep that boost ball, and I wall crawled all the way back in. Mm -hmm. Like, halfway through it, I realized we know where Cannonball is, and Chica's required, and it's like, eh, 
I probably actually don't need to keep this boost ball. Yeah, and... because... I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go on. No, no you go. I was going to say, because, yeah, Sam found Cannonball first, but I, I, I would wager then, uh, Schwartz, you told him uh, told him to just hold, hold off on it for the time being. Yeah. Uh, the other thing was... Um, uh, Schwartz, you actually had a similar case where uh, you were trying to do the um, screw attack bonk to get into um, the secretless uh, Aegon to Torvus elevator, and yeah. lo and behold, Sam sends you secret missiles the second try in. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that was there was some pretty good comedy there. Um, <clears throat> there's actually something I want to point out real quick. When I was doing mm -hmm. uh, Sky Temple uh, grounds to get my hints the first time. I'm pretty sure when I transitioned to War Ritual Grounds, I saw the map transition. So I'm, uh, you know, I, you know, with Cannonball, I morph, I boost, I bomb the door, and I don't see the bomb. Like, oh crap! No, no, no! Get out of here! Go, go, go! I seriously thought the game was gonna crash. It should have crashed. I am glad it didn't. Thank you, game, for holding up for 30 seconds so I can actually properly <laughs> transition the room. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> That's one heck of a finisher. <clears throat> Wall crawling back to the uh, portal is not something that people often do. And let me tell you, ceiling warping is bad in base, abandoned base, as well as the actual portal room. I just want yeah, to put that out there. We did see you were struggling a little bit with that. Yeah. It's the annoying thing is that that room actually has a ceiling, the actual portal that you come in from. Because oh, yeah. so you can't just fall in there. You have to actually go back to abandoned base to ceiling warp there. And the collision there is a little wonky. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, Still did it though. Little. I mean I was I felt proud of that. Alright. Well, uh Ultimate Hope, you still have four <laughs> matches left in your group stage. Fail guys, you still have five if I'm reading my challenge yep. notes correctly. So your yeah. thoughts about those remaining races going forward. Um uh oh. Oh, that's a great comment. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts about your upcoming races? Well we're screwed. <laughs> I mean, I mean thankfully uh, we okay. we got through partners in prime. Just to rip the bandit off, so yes, um, we made it out alive. Yeah, I like, feel honestly, Schwartz. I'm going to echo your sentiment. Um, there's a lot of strong competition in this tournament. We have mm -hmm. higher turnout than we did last year. There are no easy outs. Like, like one yeah. through ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Like every team is a strong team. Yeah, there are no easy outs. And, you know, even teams that seated lower than us never take anything for granted because this is randomizer. You never know what's going to happen. Play your game, do the best you can, see what happens. I, I yeah. wish everyone the Most best definitely. of luck. Yeah. You can always just get a storage C required and then <laughs> right? lose the seed. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the matches. I, I enjoy playing playing Rando and teamed up mm -hmm. with Leno. So it's, it's, it's fun. There's... I, Prime is not my strongest game, so uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll we'll see <laughs> what happens. But um, um, yeah, no, th there's definitely some stronger teams, and I, I honestly felt um, based on the spreadsheet that you know us and Ultimate Hope were actually really close together. Mm -hmm. our, our scores were really close together. If I'd recorded my third seed, it would have been a we would have had a little bit of advantage on that because I did something kind of stupid that really paid off, I think. Yeah. But uh, Sam and Schwartz, you guys beat us all three of the async seats. Like, it wasn't even close. You guys just crushed all uh, our teams, <laughs> our times for all three of the seats. Yeah. So I, I thought, like, I thought, you know, based on paper, we lose to you guys today. I, I thought you guys just had too strong yeah. of a case and we would be taking an L today. We, yeah. we were almost there, but SDKs happened and I and dark beam happened and yeah i was not i was not playing my best today i don't want to discredit the, your victory at all you guys definitely are just congrats yeah for sure but yeah, well done yeah thanks for the race and the commentary and sg for the restream big thanks of course and i think both, be sure to both follow captain and Marion. i think all four of you did a great job today you know no matter who wins or loses 
we're all here to have a good time and enjoy ourselves with this community wide yep. event. And as long as you have fun. Enjoyed then... looking at Artifact Temple from Out of Bounds. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we had fun with Prime. We had Metroid Prime Pinball 2. The sequel finally happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, Captain, I actually have a quick question for you. Go since on. The weekly, since the weekly leagues are going to be on hold for the duration of the tournament, are they going to call upon you as the best seed roller? <laughs> for this tournament. I don't think they want to let me anywhere near Randovania for I generating sure seats for this tournament. <laughs> you know, as a tournament organizer, I'd like to say, please, God, no. <laughs> God, get anywhere near that. I mean, I'm. Uh, you would you would think that one of the qualifier seeds would have been something I'd have gen, but not the case. That first seed, especially that. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that first so seed was bad. really rough. Yeah. Um, that being said, folks, uh, our next race is actually coming up on Speed Gaming Main. Uh, we will see you in three hours at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, 12.30 uh, or 0.30 a.m. Uh, GMT, uh, UTC for, this is going to be Competence Inc. versus GFMC. Uh, that race is, again, it's in three hours. Uh, looks like the only... Uh, major changes is vanilla suit damage reduction and spring ball for prime. That's about it. So if you're looking to see some spring ball action, you'll be seeing it in a couple of hours. That'd be exciting. Yeah, exciting. Got plenty more CGC coming up. Unless, of course, bombs are on Thardis or something stupid like Would that. Would you stop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, we're going to be having like, like 20 some odd races in the near future. It could happen. I think it will happen. <laughs> There will be no manifesting in my com booth. I just my luck. Just my luck. It's going to be another wave beam on Chicka Seed coming up. I I know it. Oh, no. no. <laughs> we already have team display. GFM can't really. What's wrong, chat? All right. Well, with that being said, folks, again, we will see you in just three hours. But uh, other than that, have a great rest of your night. Once again, shout outs, uh, shout outs and thanks to our runners, Metroid MST, Samuel, Lenefus, and Schwartz Gandhi for their performance this evening. Thank you, Mary and Law, for joining me here in the booth tonight. And uh, folks, we will see you next mission. Have a great rest of your night. Take care. Bye -bye. Next All right, have a good one.